funny. And I was supposed like, to talk this close to it? Uh, like a fist away is what Joe Rogan that's, says. That's what the samurai that's, said too. Okay. He said you gotta hold it a fist away from your, your abdomen. Well, just like and the samurai, for... we're doing something just as noble and something that is will be passed down to generations. Because if our children aren't podcasters, there will be some hell to pay. Some, some hell to pay. If we have kids. You, you guys are going to have, have kids together? Huh? You guys are going to have kids together? You know, I might adopt just for fun. But just just for a video. <laughs> Ryan, can we can we mix our sperm together? Like, and give it to a woman? I'm not sure that's how that works. No, no, like, no. I mean, like, it's a 50-50 shot of whose kid it is, but we never truly know, so we love it as if it's our own type Even of thing. Even though it's, like, pretty obvious whose it is. <laughs> I feel like with, with you and I, like, maybe, like... No, I feel like pretty, like, on the, like... Instantly, we know. Depends on the uh, girl, right? Because her genes, you know, okay, fifty percent of it. If we choose like an Asian woman, then we'd have a very hard time telling whose it is at first. Oh, was that your first go-to? Well, the Asian genes would dominate. Yeah, the why white she have genes. to be Asian? Because Asian why genes be dominate black? white genes. Why can't she be? She could be black. Why can't she be white? But but I, I I think of of black genes dominate white genes. They do, but I think of the races. I think Asian the black features of an Asian. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why is there a Henny and a gold chain in here? Because Tuma had was here a couple episodes ago. Was, did you bring that for him? No, I didn't bring the Henny for him. He brought that himself. This is very loud. He left it here. Yeah, man, you can wear that chain if you want. I don't want to wear the gold nice chain. It feels nice to wear. It is. It's like a it nice feels chain heavy. Wear. I'll have some of that Henny. Do you, you, that you want Henny some? Right do you really want? <laughs> do you like Hennessy, dude? I've never had it. It's, it's disgusting. I, I do not like Hennessy. I don't think I've ever had it. Oh, my God. Take a little sip. Oh, shit. T tell me what you think, man. There is, you go. is this the perfect time to introduce? This our is the guest? best time for. Do you want to introduce your? Do you want to introduce yourself as you're trying this delicious henny? <laughs> I hate the smell. In the words of David Letterman, our next guest needs no introduction. Dude, what the oh fuck? That's so much. Oh my <laughs> god! I'm sure the mic <laughs> picked up the like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you look insane, right? <laughs> now. Bro, that was like four shots worth of henny. I have a flight after this. <laughs> That was going to help you get through it, hopefully. Yeah. Or do you usually go to like an airport bar before a flight? No. I'm, oh, sorry. Give me a second. Ugh. No, I want to get right into the questions. Yeah, yeah I love the on. airport. This is like hot ones. I went to the airport. I have a, <laughs> Anyone. Had a dry sandwich. <laughs> Anyone. Ugh. Hey, you, what's up? You good, man? That was an, an impressive amount. I didn't think so much was going to come out. I, it was, you, it was like, boop, 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 boop. like a cartoon ass sound effect. Like like when someone drinks like, like a potion it, like, and we're like, like, oh shit, was there like a... I thought I was just gonna get. Were one you in shot. shock for a little bit of it? I just Is that why it so much entered? You gotta learn just to accept it, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Once you start it, it's like, you know what? If I just have a little bit, I'm not gonna feel anything from it, but I'll have the awful taste. So I might as well have enough to, where I at least feel good from it. <sighs> Ryan, taste, taste, taste it. No, I'm not, dude. I hate alcohol. I hate the taste of alcohol in general. Then you'll love Hennessy. It's cognac, dude. It's yeah, very, it's, it's very fancy. I dude. can't even remember the last. I think the last time I drank was for a drunk drawing. No, wait, no, I didn't even have any at the barbecue or whatever, right? Dude, it's okay. delicious. It tastes like soda. Did you have a <laughs> do you have a white claw or anything when you came mm -hmm. over the other night? No. I like that. It's just really good foley. <laughs> you know? Drink this potion. It does look like pirate drink. You know what I mean? That's, That's what the pirates drank at the You're uh, not on gonna hear seat. a lot of glugs. I'm just gonna do a little sip. No, do what he did. No, God, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, why'd you do yeah, that? Yeah, it's just it's just uh, <laughs> liquor. Hennessy's not like expensive, is it? it? It's pretty cheap, right? I wouldn't know. Because cognac gets really expensive, and I, I think Hennessy's like one of the cheaper options. Cognac, <sighs> you like it? Now yeah. ima imagine how he felt. Well, it's like I, I, if I'm going to get drunk, I don't like doing the whole route where like I take a while with like a, a lot of white claws. Like I'm just going to take like a few shots and like be like Ugh, for like five seconds. That's how like, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. I just, you know, you line up four shots, drink I don't, some Sprite and you're done. I don't mm -hmm. want to have time to have like 10 white claws to get to where I could with like three shots or four shots. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, man. It's like when, when you're booking a flight, you're not, you don't want to pick the one that has so a that bunch of layovers. Rhythms. Right when you're booking a flight, when you're booking a flight, you don't want to put, uh, pick the one that has all the layovers, man, and the connecting flights. You want to get the direct flight, right? The fastest option. Yeah. So, unless you're uh, flying into Greenville, then you'll probably have to get a connecting flight. No, I go to. I, I have a private jet that takes me from <laughs> okay. Los Angeles to Greenville. And uh, speaking of private jets, 
uh, our next guest, you can find him in Epstein's flight logs, Jacob from Off Canny. <laughs> Hi. Did you? I'm not in Epstein's flight logs. Uh, well, back. you can go online and look that up, and that's uh, the records tell a different story. Do you think but... he ever just lied and just wrote famous people's names? <laughs> he, was, he easily could have. He, he loved The Simpsons, and that's why Matt Groening is there, even though <laughs> there are like, stories of like. If someone pisses him off, he's like, you know, eventually this is going to come <laughs> yeah. out, so I can just be like, well, Matt Groening, you know, that really upsets me that the creator of The Simpsons is on Epstein's flight logs because. Getting a foot massage? A, I have the fucking. I have a Simpsons tattoo. Mm -hmm. This is directly drawn by Matt Graney. It's like if you had a fucking full back tattoo of Bill Cosby, you know. Well, uh, oops. <laughs> don't don't. I'm 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 in the process of getting. It. I only <laughs> want to talk about that after it's gone. I can't I can't talk about. There it are a lot still. of people who had Bill Cosby tattoos, <laughs> like a full back, like piece, the ones like... where he's like has his like like fist on his chin. You know, if you get a tattoo like that, and then when you find out something like that, it's like your first thought is it's not. Oh, those poor victims. It's, oh, shit, my tattoo. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be your first thought. Remember, dude, remember, like, he did that to himself because it all started when he posted that fucking picture of himself with the cap, the little, the cap, and he's, like, <laughs> smiling at the, go meme ahead, meme. Me. Yep. And then people memed him. <laughs> Bill Cosby? Mm-hmm. Wait, what? He he put out a picture, and he went just, it's, like, a, with him with, like, a golf hat or something. He's, smiling like, go at the camera. Go ahead, meme me. You printed it out and, like, just. I drew a picture of it <laughs> on okay, our whiteboard, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. a very realistic picture of the whole tweet. You yeah. know what Bill Cosby did, right? <laughs> uh, like, he made, like, uh, Little Bill. Yep. He made Little Bill, and he Cosby also made Cosby Show. show. Yeah. Yep. And, um, oh, Fat the Albert. kids say, Fat Albert, but also kids say the darndest thing. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Kids, and they do. That's the thing. Kids do say the darndest things. That's crazy. And that's why we got Jacob on today, because Jacob says the darndest things. After he's had a half a bottle of Hennessy, <laughs> you know? Dude, I just wanted to wake up. <laughs> yeah, man. Fuck coffee, dude. I, I will just, you know, I wake up, I slam that bottle of Hennessy. Low key, that tastes better than coffee. I hate coffee. Are you kidding? Are you I think serious? It's gross. I, I like coffee. I like coffee when you put like cream and sugar and <laughs> when it's like a it. milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's essentially. I used just... to only drink it with like tons of cream and sugar, and then I started drinking it black because, you know, the Tucker brothers and I was embarrassed to drink mm. it non-black in front of because them because they because they're cultured, right? So I was like, oh, well, in front of all the my college friends, they'd all get it black. We go to a restaurant and it'd be like. But yeah, I'll take it black. And then uh, I just got used to it. And now, actually, I, I really like it black. I'm still bewildered of like, because I don't drink coffee often. So like the last time I did, I, I took a shit and it smells just like coffee. Is that how it works? You're pissed too. If you have like an empty stomach and you drink coffee and take a piss, it smells just like coffee. Maybe does it, it tastes like coffee? It does, actually. Yeah, I was about to bring that up. And <laughs> and I'm joking aside, I it does. Because you, <laughs> there was that one time I... Uh, Years ago, um, when I, I, I said, I told Jackson Harrison, I was like, I'll give you guys X amount of dollars if you drink my piss. We were on a road trip. Sounds like out of like a fucking awful like movie about like this influencer who like abuses his friends. The David hey, Dobrik story. I'll give, give you me a, 10 grand if you drink my piss. I'll give you a million dollars if you drink my piss. Dude, I don't care whose piss it is. I'm they don't have any money dollars. to make it out any other way out here. It's like <laughs> they got to afford like well, to eat and it was. Gas. It actually was on the way on, on the drive. They were living on the your couch time. at the time. right? No, this was on the way out here <laughs> for them to live on my couch. Okay, so they okay. really they really were starting it empty. So I said, hey. You guys want to, I'm going to, I'm going to show you how things work out here in Hollywood. You want to make a couple bucks? Drink my piss. What actually happened was I was in the front seat. Uh, we just stopped at a bar in Kingman, Arizona, and I had to pee. All I had was coffee that day and a beer and I had to pee. So I pissed in a bottle and then we did a, what are the odds? I was like, Jackson, what are the odds you have to take a sip of my piss? And he's like, I, I won't do that, but I'll do it for some money. I don't remember how much it was, but I was like, okay. And Harrison was like, I'll do it too. So he jumped at, yeah. So okay. they, they, they. I didn't believe them. They both took a huge swig, swallowed it, uh, and I gave them the money. How much money? Um, I don't remember, but it was a good bit of money. It, it was, it was, it was. It was enough to make them salivate and drink your piss. It, it was enough for them to jump at the opportunity of my piss. Uh, and then, just to make it fair, I also took a sip of my piss. Did you? Did, did you? Did they? Then did you also give yourself? Money I just afterwards? gave myself some money. Yeah. Yeah. I just uh, reached <laughs> my wallet and pay you. Yeah. <laughs> I, you guys, give me that money back. No, I. But I did take a sip. And uh, it's the first time I've tasted pee. And okay. what I'll say is I'd had coffee and a beer and that's it. And it was pretty clear pee, by the way. So, like, it really 
didn't taste bad. Just from having coffee and beer? Yeah, because it's, you know, just liquids. It was, uh, it didn't taste bad necessarily. It just was a little bit salty. Uh, kind of had that pee taste, you know, a little bit. <laughs> You know, like, you I, know. Don't, I don't know. You know, yes, right? you yeah, do, I Jacob. Don't know you Jacob, you taste. know, you know. But it really tasted like coffee. Actually, I have tasted pee before, but it wasn't human pee. We've all tasted pee. Come on. What, what, Everyone's um, pissed in their mouth in the shower once. I mean, like, just to see what it's nah, like. I'm, yes, you had, Jacob. Dude, I hear you in the shower when you're staying with me. You're, I think I shit in your shower, but that's a, no, that's a topic. <laughs> I did for do that. Did you just stomp it down the drain? Mm -hmm. Okay. The guy on my toenails. Like grated cheese, just stomping it I'm through the drain. I'm gonna throw up. Don't suck. <laughs> I just had a bottle of <laughs> I actually did. No, I don't want to tell this story. Never mind. Why? Guy, I already started, and you know. I mean, I know you. You already you brought it up. Your Obviously, shit? you want to tell the story. Well, it was because it was. No, I did shit in the shower when in 2021. Wait, what? Not what? like oh, I'm gonna take a shit in the shower. Oh, did no, you but, fart and then it sprayed out. You don't yeah. have any, you, you always shit your pants because you're always like, I didn't know. No, no, no. This I feel time, like I always no, no, know no. when shit's about to come out of my asshole. It wasn't that. I knew it was coming, but I was in the shower and this was Wait, like. Were you like, I'm just going to shit in the shower? No, it was like, it was the type of diet where it's like, oh my God, it's coming. And um, and I was in the shower and I was laying, I was laying on my back like, because I was sick. First of all, I was sick. Okay. I'm laying on my back in the shower and the water hit me and I felt it coming, and I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get up in time, so I just fucking sprayed in the shower, and it it was liquid, so it all just went down the drain. <laughs> this is the shower that I share with two other people, uh, and I did not tell them about it, but uh, I afterwards, don't worry though. Afterwards, I legitimately went in, even though there was no mess. I went in with uh, spray and 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 one of Harrison's shirts, and I just cleaned it up. That's like a cartoon visual. Like someone on <laughs> I was like this, and just, just I can imagine their shit. asshole just like. I oh, didn't even open dude. it. It like, was just like someone stepped on a water balloon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much, dude. I was just laying there and just throw a water balloon at a brick wall. But the thing was, once it started a little bit, I was like, I knew there was gonna be more, and I was like, I can't just lay here and shit For in the me, shower. I, I'd just honestly be like, I just go sit on the toilet. I couldn't make it to the. Toilet. That's like my first. Thought. I couldn't yeah. make it. To my the first toilet. thought. It. What do you mean? I mean, I've been that. Like one time when I was sick, I was a kid. I got H one N one. Mm -hmm. and I was just in the bathtub and I just like threw this up isn't that and I couldn't move. This is an H1N1. What, what, what would you have? <sighs> I think I had food poisoning. Oh, you can get up. You no, get no, no, no. You guys ever have it where like the diarrhea hits and it's literally like it's like, oh, and yeah. Like, and then then I pucker up and then I fucking waddle my can way. Can I be to the honest restroom. though, Ryan? You get out of the shower. It's cold, dude. You're dripping. You water. just did it. You, 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 you could have made it to the toilet. You just decided to just fucking nope. spray in the shower. There's no way you couldn't have made it to the Maybe toilet. you just thought it'd be funny. You're like, you're like, this is a story to tell. I was like, you know what? <laughs> you like tell this one on the podcast. <laughs> Probably, honestly, I could see that. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't. It make makes it. a good story. No. It's uh, kind of like the the age old kind of like when you're out in public doing shit, it's like you don't want to like let embarrassment get in the way because it's good for when you're in private video. spraying shit. I'm not gonna lie. There might have been a small part of me that was like, this will be funny to tell the guys. Oh, I'm sure. But also, like, it was so, it was so, it was really hard to hold in. Was it traumatic? No, it was fantastic. Just was the <laughs> shit traumatic? Was it traumatic for others? You know when, like, South Park, when they shit? It's mm -hmm. like, it was like that kind of. No, it was more like you just, like, put your finger over, like, a garden hose and do that a little bit. Did it unlock something in you? Like, do you want to shit in the shower more now? No. No, no, never no, again. No, no. That was a one-time thing. Not. I mean, it's a, that's a disgusting thing to do. I don't. I mean, I wonder why it's I like, know. like, it's like why, why, why is Ryan the heartthrob? It's because I, I talked about this kind. of, I'm like, yeah, I was laying down, and sprayed shit in the shower. I mean, we both had our our fair share of uncomfortably disgusting sh stories, like me spraying shit onto the back of a toilet. <laughs> that, that that I think is in the top three. But who the fuck is that? What's up, Jackson? How you Hi. doing? I'm good. How are you? Have what you guys you met? Drinking? Coconut? No. That's something? Pedialyte. Pedialyte. Yeah. Oh, you got your second dose. Are you feeling a little yeah. sick, right? Yeah. Just not sick. Just tired. You want some That's Hennessy? How I he just started the podcast by massive, massive, just like, he was like, I'll have a sip. And then just like, you know, just, this is Jacob though. Jacob Jackson. Hi. Hey, nice to meet you. Hey, man. Have a good podcast. You too, bro. I like his mustache. Yeah, it's a nice mustache, right? I wish I could grow a mustache. Big old handlebar. You, wait, yeah, you shaved since since last I've seen you. Yeah. Why? I thought I looked good. I had a panic attack. 
<laughs> the mustache, he couldn't breathe because of the mustache. <laughs> it grew so fast and covered his mouth and nose. <laughs> That's like some fucking uh, poltergeist shit right there. Yeah, I drank some Rogaine, and it was like growing over my face. <laughs> oh, so that's actually body horror. Fun fact about Rogaine: how they discovered it was it's a it's like a it's not a blood thinner. It's a uh, it opens up your like blood vessels more, um, which is why it makes hair grow because it like opens up your pores and everything and and allows like facilitates that. And they used to give people Rogaine. Uh, in pill form before it was used for hair stuff they used it as a like a blood thing uh, but they noticed one of the side effects was used to, people that would take it would just grow hair really fast everywhere because they took it by pill and mm. they're like wait maybe we can use this for 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 other stuff so I guess if you do drink Rogaine you'll I put Rogaine on my face to grow a mustache did it work it did yeah how quickly you remember right like it worked it, it like I think if I kept it up maybe well, like I also don't know like I, f- I feel like you go through stages where you grow it out a good bit anyways but then you just end up shaving it because you're like i'm gonna try this out again and then like two days later like you show up to the office clean shave well i don't feel like you go through that awkward stage because there is an awkward stage when you're growing facial hair no when when i'm growing facial hair start to finish including the finish is the awkward phase it's still it looks awkward when i have it and the internet fucking roasts me to death when i try to grow a mustache i'd say it's pretty intense so i dyed it because my mustache comes in blonde so you can't see it. So I got some like uh, oh, yeah, like I eyebrow dyed. dyed. It. Yeah. I dyed it. I want to do it again, but just do it black this time. <laughs> like dye it black, so it just looks. It looked fake last time, but it was real. <laughs> With the silence. I don't know. I, don't know. <clears throat> I just can't relate. Yeah, I mean, you have great facial hair. No, I would love for you to die. <laughs> I really want you to, I need dye to take yours. better care of myself. That's what I need to do. You look I need, good. I think you look good. You look I great. need to get like a. I need to like. Learn how to. Sh- I need to shape it up. I need to like comb it. I need to like not Get some have beard it oil. be all. Yeah, can I have start, a neck dude. Beard. Do like the the pointed uh no. <laughs> do do the keem star. You ever see those like Arabic dudes on Instagram and they have it like perfectly carved? Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like the the line like right like the where it's like you can see the yeah. polygonal just fucking like edges. I'm so jealous of the people that can grow it so nice that like on their face like the hairline of that is just like, so just. just it's beautiful. They didn't grow it like that. <laughs> they cut no, no, I know, I know they cut it like that, but it's like uh, um, a lot of people can do that, and it's beautiful. I was watching 90 Day Fiance last night, and there was a, a, a doctor. Uh, very a, handsome? Very handsome, yeah, from Ghana, and he had that. He had that kind of like— Was he a young doctor? Um, 40s, maybe. Okay. Actually, it's funny because the doctor on 90 Day Fiance, for those that watch it, that Angela goes to to become less fat, that's the same doctor that did my hemorrhoid surgery. So that same man has been inside my asshole. That's awesome. Before and after the surgery. That's crazy. I got my LASIK from the guy who did James Charles' eyes. Yeah? Yeah. So you know he did a good job. No, he was rude. Dude, James I was laying Charles? On, no, well, I, I never met James Charles, but the LASIK guy, like, <laughs> I was now. laying on the table, and he just came in and started shoving shit in my eyes. And, Did like, he talk about, you know, I worked on James Charles? There's photos of him on the wall. <laughs> okay, okay. It was weird as fuck. <laughs> it's like uh, when you go into a restaurant, and they have, like, photos of celebrities that, like, signed that have been to the restaurant. Yeah. Like when we went to that sushi uh, place in Japan, and there was, like, Bill Clinton and Obama. Mm-hmm. And was George Bush on that wall? I, I, remember, I remember Tom Hanks. I remember Tom Obama. Hanks. Bill Clinton, and I remember uh, the Prime Minister of Japan, Abe. Okay. Um, and there was a bunch of other people, like uh, Epstein and Jacob was in the picture with Epstein, actually, in the background. And then there was... Uh, Must have just flown there. Oh, yeah. Well, you guys had your little... You're always going around the world, just here and there. Yeah, we were we were, we were monsters back in the day. <laughs> I love Party how, monsters. I love how Chris Tucker, like... Was on those planes too, Chris Tucker. Really, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I can't. Like, I can't picture it. But like, it happened, so like, I'm forced to. Wait, it was Chris Tucker, <laughs> Michael Jackson, and yeah. Epstein. The three of is them. Is that true? Yeah. Yes. Like they 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 did flights together. Michael Jackson, Bill Clinton wasn't with him, was he? Was I it Bill? Cl- so. I don't know. It, it, I do know it was Michael Jackson, I thought Bill Chris Clinton. Tucker, and Epstein. I feel like Michael Jackson invited Chris Tucker. That's how I picture it in my brain. Chris, Tucker's I could like, see that. Oh, because okay. Chris Tucker and Michael Jackson in that one music video. And they're like doing a bit at the start. Yep, because Michael mm-hmm. Jackson loves Rush Hour. Does he really? really? <laughs> I don't know. I knew he wanted to be Spider Man. He was like trying Did to he? buy the rights to Spider Man to be Spider Man. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be the next Spider Man. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't imagine that. Tobey like, Maguire. He has enough money where he probably could finagle the studio and be like, I'm going to be Spider Man. Because you know that movie would do great. It'd be awful. But 
Okay, Spider-Man saves kids. I mean, I mean, have you seen the the first Spider-Man recently? It's not like Tobey Maguire was like a great actor. Mm, it's been a while. I know Ryan loves Spider-Man three. I love Spider-Man one through three. I think they're I think they're like just fun, campy, like superhero mm. movie. They're like the perfect level of camp. And then the third one I hated when I saw it for the first time, but now I appreciate it because it's like a perfect rep- representation of like studio meddling in with someone's vision. Because like, there's like eight villains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Sam Raimi's still like putting in all of his goofy shit in there still. Mm. I, I, I love Sam Raimi too. I love so ad reads. He's, oh yeah. A few decades ago, private citizens used to be largely that, private. What's changed? The internet. Think about everything you've browsed, searched for, watched, or tweeted. <laughs> oh. Now imagine all of that data being crawled through, collected, and aggregated by third parties into a permanent public record. Your record. Hey, bronies out there, I'm talking to you. That's right. Having your private life exposed for others to see was once something only celebrities worried about, like myself. But in an era where everyone is online, everyone is a public figure. To keep my data private when I go online, I turn to ExpressVPN. Did you know that there are hundreds of data brokers out there whose sole business is to buy and sell your data? The worst part is they don't have to tell you who they're selling it to or get your consent. One of these data points is your IP address. Data harvesters use your IP to uniquely identify you and your location. But with ExpressVPN, my connection gets rerouted through an encrypted server and my IP address is masked. Every time I turn ExpressVPN on, I'm given a random IP address shared by other ExpressVPN customers. That makes it more difficult for third parties to identify me and harvest my data. And the best part is how easy ExpressVPN is to use. No matter what device you're on, phone, laptop, smart TV, all you have to do is tap one button to get protected. So, if you're like me, you believe that your data is your business. Secure yourself with the number one rated VPN on the market. Visit expressvpn.com slash supermega and get three extra months for free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S V-P-N dot com slash supermega. I use it all the time so I can watch things and not be scared that Verizon's gonna know. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> we all shop online, and we've all seen that promo code field taunt us at checkout. It's just, it's, it's blowing little raspberries at us. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, ranging from sites that have tech and gaming products, I know you gamers want that, to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. Here's how it works. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site, and if Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. Recently, I bought a new mattress, and you know, mattresses are expensive. Honey saved me $300 on this mattress. And if I hadn't had Honey, that would be 300 smackaroos that I'd never see again. And just like me, Honey has found its over 17 million members over $2 billion in savings. So. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in just a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. I'd never recommend something I won't use. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash megacast. That's joinhoney.com slash megacast. But yeah, man, I, I, I've the first Spider-Man I saw back when it came out, like what, 2001, maybe? Old. I remember I saw that my family rented a VHS of him. Toby Maguire cry face. Do you remember when he kisses Mary Jane Watson upside down? <laughs> yep. And she's not wearing a bra. She's not wearing a bra. She's not wearing a bra. <laughs> no, dude. Sheesh. She's she's poking through, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's funny. Ooh. Uh, the Green her Goblin. Her last name too. is Watson. Huh? Just like me, Mary Jane Watson. She named Mary Jane after a little reference to marijuana, maybe. Yeah. I'm going to name my daughter Mary Jane Watson. And then my other daughter, Anna Mae Watson. Like Anna, middle name Mae, Anna Mae Watson. You're not taking your wife's last name? Well, that's implying I'm to be married to a woman, Jacob. Oh, sorry, my bad. You're not taking Ryan's last name? <laughs> Matthew McGee. That, Matt McGee. M-M. That sounds good. m M&M. m Feminist women love m M&M. Frick it, frick it, oh, Slim Shady. I'm sick of him. Is this an m M&M Look at him walking around, grabbing it's his you-know-what. I've not even heard it. <laughs> you know, who? I played it for you in the car yesterday. I don't you listen. Said you didn't like he, it. this. This boy loves Eminem. No, I don't. No, I don't. He's recited Eminem lyrics on probably the past three podcasts, maybe. You kind of look like Slim Shady. Thank you, especially with the, the the blonde hair now. Should I should I shave my head and bleach it? 
like bleach it would be, it when it's it would be different you should and then grow out the facial hair a little i think it's that would be a look definitely would be a look and start wearing <laughs> wife beaters the crosses and shit crosses you should just go for the early 2000s slim shady look just not some shady but i was thinking recently I've, I, I've been toying with the idea of like you know i'm trying to make more music but i'm just too self-conscious about it so i'm like what if i just make a sugar ray cover album because that's already like, <laughs> made for me you know i just got to copy it and if i do that then i kind of wanted for a, a week or two do my look like uh late 90s early 2000s like mark mcgrath mm -hmm. like maybe uh cut my hair short Actually, soul patch. Yeah, well, I if I could grow it, I would, but I'll just put Rogaine right there. No, you yet. can get like go to like a, a like a Hollywood hairdresser or something. Get like an actual like what they would use in movies, just real human hair. Oh yeah, where they attach it. Yeah. Well, like see right now with the length of my hair with the roots, I could cut it to be frosted tips, right? Yes. You know, so I could do that. I love Mark McGrath. You should just do an Usher cover album and like a, get <laughs> realistic prosthetics so you look like Usher. Uh, and wear that for like a month. Just don't involve any paint. Well, if I want to look like Usher, Ryan. Uh, I would just refrain from it. I but mean, if you do want to go all the way, Robert Downey Jr. Tropic went all Thunder, the way. Exactly, Tropic Thunder, yeah. That's the most famous case. I I forget every now and then that like he did that. <laughs> <laughs> just full blackface? Just Robert Downey Jr. was in a movie whole, as blackface. Yeah, so was that Eddie sounds like a Marvel villain. Blackface. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Does that not sound like a Marvel villain? Yeah, no, it reminds me of the thing where, like, dudes paint their face with brown skin. There's Black Panther. That's the bad guy in blackface. It's just a white black dude face in blackface black black that Panther. they have to eradicate because it's just too inappropriate. <laughs> they just can't catch him. He's too slippery. Yeah, he's just, uh, and, and they can't cancel him either. They try to cancel him on Twitter. The teenagers try to get him, and they just, it doesn't work. He just doesn't give in. Unstoppable. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, did you guys ever, did your parents ever do blackface? No. I wish. Same. I think it'd be hilarious to see my dad in blackface. <laughs> <laughs> I would lose my mind. pretty good, that. yeah. I, uh, Why? I don't because he's a little guy. Because <laughs> he's a little guy. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Is your mom or dad black? My mom's black. Oh, okay. I thought the like joke a... was that your dad was black. Is your so mom you'd love super to see tall? Him. No. Okay. I'm just a mystery. How'd you get so tall? <laughs> just a mystery. My dad's like, you know, he's like half of me. He's Jacob's six four. Because yeah. you're like you're like the perfect human. <laughs> no, you are. You're like you're like you're really muscular and really tall. Like you're like like you're everything's big. in proportion. Yeah, uh -huh. perfectly. Like when I when I see you, I get a little intimidated sometimes just because I'm like, damn, he's a good looking guy. Oh, this is the first time I'm hearing this. No, it's not. No, it's not Jacob. No. Most, people just, shit. most people just call me cute. You are cute. Oh shit. Well, but you like, see, Jacob, you got a nice cute uh, smile. Like you have you have really nice. I've definitely gotten out of trouble with this. I've smiled at cops and gotten away with it. You lot. have kind eyes. You have great DSL. This is freaking me out. You got wonderful lips. I'm like kind of off the henny right now, and I look to the left and right, and there's two people complimenting me. It's yeah. Does that make you uncomfortable? I see he's twitching his finger. You're not, you're not used to being complimented? No, not really. You got really. great hair, too. Please stop. Please stop. You're very smooth skin, too. I like it. I've acted. Your lips, though, man. I, I, I did kiss him. For a video that's not out yet, probably. Mm. No, it's not out yet, no. When is this coming out? This comes out in three weeks, I think. It might be out. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. All right. Probably shouldn't talk about it. We we But we do okay. we kiss. I can Soft. kiss you if you want to check. Yeah, dude, he has, he has the softest lips of anyone I've ever kissed in my life. And I'm not kidding. That's crazy. You want to kiss? I mean, you can give me a kiss if you want I'm to. I'm going to come over There's there. There's really soft lips, dude. But. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Right here. God damn! Right, those are soft. Well, the video when 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 we go in for the kiss, I go in for a peck, and he was going in for more of like a makeout. Uh, but then, I mean, why? I'm sure his lips would entice you to just go along with. It. Well, it started. It was like, and it was it was a good kiss, man. I, I'm not gonna lie. And I said, I said it. I said, if I could put those lips on my girlfriend, if I could cut her lips off and sew those ones on, I would do it in a heartbeat. <laughs> Because I, don't, those, I don't think that would work that way. It'd be like uh, when someone's face gets torn off by a monkey and they rebuild it. She looks good. Not with my lips. They honestly, she she should hit you up. What's her name? Charla Nash? Yeah. Like, I, this is a, like a, I'm I'm putting this out there because she probably, she Who might not this? know this. Charla Nash. I think she had her Travis face the torn Pimp. off. I mean, Travis a, the Chimp, he excuse me. ripped her face off. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Um, remember that famous 911 call? I know exactly, yes. Yeah, well, he ripped, you know, Travis the Chimp. Rest in paradise, you know, got 
got her face ripped off and uh, they reconstructed it. And uh, I was thinking, you know, maybe because I, I don't know if she can see this video, but what I can say is that Sharla, we got a guy here who's willing to donate his lips. They are great fucking lips. Very look, look at the color too. Those are like a nice Dr. Pepper. What? Uh, Excuse me. Nice Dr. Pepper. No, Dr. not Dr. Pepper. Pepper. It's like Dr. Pepper is like a like a dark. Well, it's cola. like the vibe. The vibe I'm the getting vibe is like of Dr. smooth Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Lips. Like bubbly, like red, spicy. Smooth, makes you feel like, kind of like ooh. Yeah, a little bit spicy. There's a bite to it. I, am I supposed to say something about that? I feel. I don't very know. I'm trying to it. understand his. You say whatever his, you want, man. Yeah. It's but like the a, nice fucking and and the, the best part is these little dimples right here. It's like I'm back on Epstein's plane. Yeah, <laughs> giving you all those compliments. Epstein loves giving compliments, man. Great guy. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what he's been up to. I haven't heard from him in a while. Yeah, whatever happened to him? He was in the news for a good while, and then just he nothing. hasn't been responding to my texts. Well, that was slander in the news. They were that was a, that was a coordinated hit against him by the mainstream media. Well, by the politicians specifically, because they were pissed off that he had such a cool island. They got like, jealous. We want that island. So they're like, Let's we want to have, we want to have, we want to have parties with, with people on that island. Do you think it's for sale? Uh, I actually, I recently read the Wikipedia page for it. It's part of a Oops. greater St. James, I think, or something. It's, it's, it's. Cause it's little St. James. It's, mm. it's St. James Island. And he called little St. James, uh, or a uh, little St. Uh, Jeff is what he would jokingly call it. Uh, yeah, man, he was a cool guy. <laughs> I don't think I would want to I don't think I would want to buy his island if I was yeah, a millionaire yeah that's the thing man it's like mm. but it's probably heavily discounted right I'm it's sure not like it's haunted no one died there it's uh, a yeah, little, people it's probably did die there mm. I feel like someone died there like who I don't know Okay. You gotta throw out these murder accusations so flippantly, dude. Don't don't slander my my man Jeff like that. That's what you're trying to do. He's still warm in the grave, man. Well, maybe it wasn't a murder. Maybe someone just slipped. Whoop. Wasn't him. He's in South America. Mm hmm. Yep. Jeff. Yeah. yeah. I wish he would respond to my text. I don't. know. Maybe he doesn't have service. Okay. I do think he is dead. I don't think he's still alive. Oh, of course. But I, that's the one conspiracy theory that I think everyone can agree on. That he's killed? That's not even that a conspiracy. No, 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 no. That, that it wasn't suicide. It was a murder. Yeah. That's it's what so I obvious. Have you seen the autopsy pictures? Yeah. Oh, no, you haven't. The, way the you ones? Said, yeah. You haven't. Okay. I haven't, but I have. Well, then why'd you lie to me? Huh? I, believe I don't know. You're just, you're I just, just very, you're just record. being very aggressive in this conversation. I believe the government. Don't come after me. I believe the government. I'm sorry, Ryan. The government? I believe the government. He's well, He would commit suicide. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> Yeah, no. I mean, it was just an unfortunate series of events, and I ain't talking the Lemony Snicket books. <laughs> they were good up until about eleven. What's his uh? What's his name? Count Olaf. He like does himself up as Jeffrey Epstein in one of the books. In the in the first one, to marry Violet. <laughs> <laughs> to marry Sonny, actually. Oh God, come on! We're talking about Epstein here. He put Sonny in a cage. So did that's what Epstein did too. <laughs> Basically, uh. You know, it just, it sucks, but it's what happened, man. The the cameras malfunctioned and the guards fell asleep and you know, that stuff happens sometimes, especially in one of the most, uh, you know, one of the And they didn't give him his own private cell? They gave him his own private Idaho. They gave him a, a cell with someone who looks like they kill people for fun? Dude, I'm not participating in this conversation, okay? I don't I'm just saying it's Jacob unfortunate. No, we're, we're saying it's unfortunate that those things happen, so... They're going to find, like, there's two not terabytes proof. of CP on both of your guys' computers. What's CP? What? I don't think I could even download two terabytes of regular pornography if I wanted to. I definitely have. Two Downloaded terabytes? two terabytes That's like of porn pornography in your life? Yeah, I was like... Is it because it's like you downloaded, like, 4K... Yeah, or, well, or did course. you like? Did you curate these two terabytes, or were you just like be like go on like pirate? Bay I watched like, like the documentary like Hot Girls Wanted, and I was like, man, I feel so bad for these girls. So I was like trying to find porn that's like ethical. Mm, yeah, and so I downloaded a bunch, and then you know, you know, to do to do something good for the world, I just downloaded two terabytes of porn. Now I just use OnlyFans. Yeah, that's the ethical way for uh, to do pornography now. Where would you say is the are the top three most ethical ways of 
viewing porn because you did have to like step one uh, making it number one uh old playboys that you find old, okay you know it's like it's already made it's recyclable okay where um, would you find them like just like kind of like out in the streets your dad's garage mm -hmm. i found playboy like one playboy a lot of people have this story in the south where they just find one in the woods i remember finding one just in the woods randomly i think that's really? a story everywhere people like bury playboys in the woods <laughs> wait you found it like like buried or like you just stumbled upon it just stumbled upon it it was just yeah, dude, out that's some woods. dude took that out in the woods. He's like, I, like you know, I got to get away from the old, the old, the old ball. And Why chain. would he leave it if it's so important? It's his alone time. Maybe he left it thinking that no one's gonna come. Well, you know, you know, boy. sometimes when you when you watch porn jerk off, like right when you're done and you look back at the porn, you're like, ugh. So you, and you just you, feel disgusted you with think, yourself. You think he t put all the effort to take the Playboy into the woods, walk in the middle, <laughs> open it up, jerked off, and then he was like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sometimes like <laughs> he didn't like roll it up and just like <laughs> stick it in his belt loop or something. Or maybe he had to run really fast. He heard like his wife coming. He's like, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> what about a do you know what the worst thing is like what just makes you feel like just like a, a pig is like coming on your stomach no but when you're uh watching porn and like it goes dark or something and then you just see your reflection in the screen just like it's like oh uh, i don't know I does the porn the end do you always watch to like the very end where it's like finn on a porn or something <laughs> well i have to usually like I usually need, i, I to sit there usually and i finish like in the middle of a porn video or like watching a gif no i watch the entire thing <laughs> even but if and i you finish only, the first and you time seconds. it to come at the very end when the screen cuts to black because because the, i want to soak it all up and then no, when of it course. fades to black that's when i can go <sighs> and kind of you know yeah but no i i usually don't see my reflection at when when i sometimes like talk about it like if you use your phone I, but, oh you know i've never jerked off on my phone what? That's, Why? Too, that's the place jerk to jerk off. off. It's too personal. What do you mean? That's where I, you know, I wouldn't want to be personal. jerking off as like text from mom. Hey, honey. That actually well, does I don't, suck. Well, I don't have notifications turned because I get too anxious with like texts and stuff popping in. In case you're jerking off. Just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I will say uh, it, it, it is a very like bad feeling when you're watching pornography on your cell phone and then like like a text from mom like hey honey thinking about you love you and from like, mom you can see her kind of like smiling looking <laughs> <laughs> and then i just god that's when i busted so hard of course i actually she's I a was, hot lady i was not his mom's fun my mom hot yeah she's pretty she's beautiful People she's pretty from the back all the time shut the fuck up oh. <laughs> she's what <laughs> What's the what's the phrase? Love to watch her leave <laughs> yeah <laughs> hate, hate to see her go, go. Love, love to watch her leave, leave. so okay. that was okay. playboy play oh that, shit. there's two um, more Drawing your own you, you already said OnlyFans. Should your we just personal, put that one in there? Your personal sex life. Your personal you, sex life. If you life. get permission, you know. What if you don't have a personal sex life? Like, Well, I'm telling like you, this Matt, is how you do it. I ethically. guess. Mm -hmm. Ethically, you know, your, your personal sex life. You know, you're hitting her from the back. You turn the you turn the flashlight on. You say, is this okay? She says, yeah. Not the camera, the flashlight. The flashlight first. I'm talking about like a, like a this type of flash. You don't want to use the flash on your phone because, you know. It's you want to drain battery. It's going to make it like, yeah. And it'll make the image yellow. So you hold the flashlight way high up like you're lighting it. Oh, mm -hmm. so you're saying like an, your own personal diary. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. That's ethical. Okay, that's ethical. That is uh, ethical. Yeah, there's if, one if more she form of, to it. There's one more form of porn that's ethical or like the top three. Uh, It's got to be OnlyFans. Yeah. It's got to be OnlyFans. It has a digital footprint, obviously. You know, you're wasting a lot of energy. It's like Bitcoin. But, uh, <laughs> you know, OnlyFans, you're paying for it. And she's Directly producing it. She gets all the profit. The creators. Yeah. In fact, everyone... But you're a cuck if you support her. You're Amen. a beta. You're a simp. I'm a sigma male, actually, so. Oh. Nice. I mean, we know a lot about them. You're a simp like that fucking simp I dubs, dude. Is he not? What? He's a simp, dude. He's I a dubs? Simp? Yeah, he's Man, a simp, dude. Because his GF does OnlyFans. Yeah, he has does a she? girlfriend that works in the sex industry. That what means is he's it? a fucking simp. What's her OnlyFans? What? Dude, I'm not... Come on, man. That's sick. Is there... That's our friend's girlfriend. <laughs> our best friend's girlfriend. That's right. Is it? Is it more wrong to not help her out by subscribing to her only? See, that's I, a dilemma. I feel. I feel like Ian would be thankful for you helping them out because they're now in, engaged, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, congratulations! So now the money, that money would be going to both of them. It's kind of like the wedding registry. Like, yeah, I bought your OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like, yeah, just subscribe to my wife's OnlyFans. That's uh, what if that was, that's they had awesome. an iPad set up and you just like, put in your information. It's like if you subscribe to our OnlyFans, it helps us a lot more. It's a more sustainable income. That'd be scary if there were iPads at the entrance of the wedding that you pay for. <laughs> like, that's your entry fee. Remember, the, remember, like, I remember going to, like, have this scan, like, Apple Pay and shit. <laughs> Dude, Apple Pay changed Dude, my life. I, I can't wait till there's, like, 
you can like scan your thumb. You go to like pay are you for get, are you get, would you would you pay to get that implant? Yeah, they're gonna have that. I bet one day, maybe not even an implant, but at least like I feel like I don't know, maybe not not even a tattoo. I feel maybe like on your lips, so you have to kiss it. Some people have already gotten those chips in their like thumbs. They like got them done themselves. Like billionaires kissing the same just, like, fucking normal thing weird. everyone else. Plays. <laughs> normal weird. I did it myself. I seen this in New York, and he's like, "Yeah, I got my Apple Pay." No, 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 no. There's there's a guy oh, with that a screwdriver, baby. Jackson found on YouTube. He's a Neko. Is it what? A Neko? A Neko? What? So he's like, he thinks he's a cat, like a Japanese little kitty cat. He dresses up like that, okay, but he, he's cool. really into it. Jackson. What's that? You know the Neko guy that modifies himself with the le- electronics? Oh, yeah. What's that called? When you like modify yourself. Find out after these ad reads. <laughs> bring, bring. Hello. Hey, I got some crazy stuff to tell you. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month, I thought, what's the catch? But after speaking with them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only. By cutting out retail stores, there's no crazy overhead costs that get passed down to you in the form of mystery fees. Instead, Mint just passes on sweet savings direct to you. We have a close friend and she uses Mint Mobile and she always is talking about, I can't believe I used to pay this much for cell phone service. What I liked was how easy it was to use the website. I went on the website to sign up and boom, bang, bing, Beautiful, so easy, just a few steps, nothing confusing, I love it. And the best part is, it's the exact same premium wireless service for just 15 bucks a month. It's not gonna be slow or anything. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven day money back guarantee. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash supermega. That's mintmobile.com slash supermega. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash supermega. What interferes with your happiness? Is something preventing you from achieving your goals? Last July, I was real, real depressed and I couldn't be motivated to do anything. And I realized it was because I was depressed because of COVID. That COVID slump is real. And what better way to get over it than with a licensed professional therapist? And that's BetterHelp. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can connect in a safe and private online environment. It's so convenient. You can start communicating in just under 48 hours and it's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it's professional counseling done securely online. You can send a message to your counselor anytime. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. All of this without ever having to sit in that cold, uncomfortable waiting room. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling, and financial aid is available. The service is available for clients worldwide, and you can find the particular expertise you need. Don't limit yourself to the counselors located near you. Licensed professional counselors are specialized in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping issues, trauma, anger, family conflicts, LGBT matters, grief, self-esteem, and so much more. Everything you share is confidential. It's convenient, professional, affordable, and if you don't believe me, check out the testimonials posted daily on their site. Us boys here at Super Mega want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash supermega. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash supermega. Okay, we're back. What is it, Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> It's not freaking. What is it? Transhumanism. Not transhumanism. It's, well, it is, but basically, this guy like mod. He's like, he's like, yeah, I did surgery on myself and put in. A that little- stuff freaks me out when people modify their body like that. Like it just makes me. I feel like it's a great way. Like I don't think you should have electronics like just in bed. I feel like that would get infected, or like like start to go into your blood. Like, hey, where'd the microchip go? <laughs> it goes up to your brain and fucking. It's like when you break a bone and there's just pieces floating in your fucking bloodstream. Uh-huh. My dad, uh, when he was when he was That's younger, horrifying. chipped mm-hmm. his knee and uh, he it, he would feel like the it like move around his leg like the piece of bone because it would just move around like <laughs> underneath. Um, I've never broken a bone. Me neither. Or, I think I I haven't even had a milk. I haven't had a fracture or anything like that. I'm surprised. I've been hit by a car like multiple times. I'm surprised I've never broken anything. Just like as a pedestrian or like also in a car. 
I, uh, as a pedestrian, yeah. Okay. Really? Yeah. When I was a kid, I was like crossing the street and I was like, oh, hey, mom. And I, 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 there was no memory. You of dove hit. in front I, of your mom. Did your mom hit you? I was crossing the street and someone was just coming way <laughs> okay, too fast. Oh my God, dude. They imagine being his mom like, hi, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Every mother's worst nightmare, unless you're Jacob's mom, then it's a blessing. But unfortunately. Yeah, I survived. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it just clipped me. And I, I remember just like the impact. And then I was on the floor, like 10 feet away. The and floor my shoes was were inside? Off. It was concrete. Sorry. Oh. I was hit by a car, man. Can he flew all the way through the front door. <laughs> he went, he went, swoop, like slid. Like like a car, dude. I landed back home. <laughs> he like right in the couch. The TV turns on. Like fucking Simpsons. He crashes, through the, he crashes through the wall and it's like a perfect body shape. <laughs> like perfect Jacob It was just weird. I apologize to the lady for getting hit by the car and I just went home. As you should. She like, good. Don't run out in the street like that. Nah, she was like, oh my God. <laughs> dude, if I hit a kid, I, I would... Like I, I, oh my god! She didn't get out of her car. I'd run. She was like, "Oh, I'm sorry," and then left. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, man. I've I've never hit anyone. I almost, uh, why I didn't almost one time. I parked a little bit. Like I came to a stoplight and I was a little bit in in the crosswalk, and this old man was walking by and he has a a cane and he just stops from my car and just smacks my (laughs) hood, (laughs) and I just blew my horn. I was like, "What the fuck, man?" Because like. Like I was not that far into the cross, you know. Like sometimes you like you stop a little bit too far into the crosswalk. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you're supposed to stop behind it, but sometimes you accidentally. Or if you're in the right, you're creeping through the crosswalk to make that right mm-hmm. turn at an intersection. Maybe after he was you like, stopped. maybe he was asking you to hit him. You should just like you know clip him, me. hit him a little bit. Do it, hit me. He was uh yeah. I mean I I I was pissed at him for that. And you still should have ran him over. Obviously, no. I f- I found out who he was, and I I uh, you could found have legally out his wife him. recently died. So I made sure to really play on that and really get to him. I'm just saying. I, I left him some voicemails. You could have legally it. run him over. Self-defense. And I was scared. Spun his meat into the concrete. And you could have said, he <laughs> smacked my hood. Spin. I was afraid. It's, it's why cops can run people over in protests. Mm-hmm. He They're was, afraid for their lives. Cops can do that? Yeah. God bless these boys in if blue. Co- if, if someone starts smacking on the hood of a cop car, you don't know if they have a, a, ga- a, a Gatling gun, a grenade launcher or something. Or yeah, you might like have you Iron have a Man's suicide chest. Ball. <laughs> yeah, so they just fucking barrel right through them, Sheesh. as they should. This country rules. Yeah, well, J- Jacob's not American. I am a citizen. I'm an American citizen. So I just didn't grow up here. American. Sorry, but you couldn't be president. He's Canadian. I don't think I could be president. No, no. I'm from Canada. You have you, you have, have to be a natural born citizen, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which which I'm glad about that because because we I, can run for president if we ever wanted mm-hmm. to. And I was also thinking, I was like. Uh, I swear to God, if Elon Musk is president one day, but I'm like, he can't. He's from South Africa, apartheid South. That's his family got rich. Elon Musk got rich because uh, his family got rich off of uh, apartheid. Blood diamonds, mm-hmm. other people's mining. problems. You know? Yeah. Hey man, Elon, are you guys gonna get Neuralink? <laughs> no. No. If there's anyone, well, I trust maybe. To put something I don't even hands. have Google Home. You know, like I don't even have like Alexa and all that shit. Like, yeah, start I don't with have like a using Siri regularly. I you know, put, like a fucking chip in your brain, dude. I I still don't use Siri. I have that turned off. Dude, she's horrible. I don't want. I don't. I know it's all. It's gonna listen no matter what. But I just hate the peace of mind. Yeah, it's like just a peace of mind thing. I hate Elon Musk so fucking much, dude. Why? Well, for one, he uh, he he ma- he made Tesla. That's true. He just tanked the crypto market because he's being a little bitch, a little crybaby. We don't accept Bitcoin anymore. Yeah, was he, he tanked. He fucking tanked the crypto. I shit. I don't accept uh, Bitcoin anymore. He moves like that. Yeah, the head moves. Sorry, bros. Yeah. Not right now, bros. Um, what I'm about to say might be cringe. J- Jacob, you're the guest, so I'm gonna ask you. Um, mm-hmm. As you throw, would up you in your find mouth. it? Yeah, yeah. Would you find it rude? If I like just took a bathroom break real quick, just to take a like just to pee it would take like a minute. Maybe I'll take a bathroom as long as we like hear it. Uh, uh, maybe you know what? Let's put the ad reads here to space it out more. We, we can all take a bathroom break, and that old ad break can we can just put a fart sound. Okay, does that sound good? Sure, I love using fart sounds. I know. Are you gonna end this episode with it? Uh, no, I will not. Okay. So you're taking a piss and shit? I don't understand. I'm just gonna take a pee. Okay. I'm gonna go take a shit in the shower. <sighs> All right, Ryan, how was the piss? It was good. It was good. Nice, uh, relaxing piss. Not like an aggressive stream or anything. And more Henny. Oh, my So, wait, man. when is your flight? Uh, like an hour. <laughs> wait, what? What? I'm just kidding. Uh, it's, a, it's, it boards at like six. 
What time is it now? It's almost three, so it's oh, fine. Oh, you're good. I'm LAX? Huh? LAX? Yeah. Oh, one thing to take into account, though, you're going to have to be going down there during rush hour. Yep. <sighs> the worst. That's total cringe. Yeah, dude. <sighs> it scared me, man. You saw how bad I flinched? <laughs> I took a while to, like, I, was, it was, I didn't try to make a surprise out of it. I've never met someone who <clears throat> flinches more for no reason than Trevor. Modest kid. <laughs> that boy, like, I'll, like... Really, I'll walk by him, yeah, and like a gut, like a gust will go by him and be like, "What happened dude? to him, dude? What are you doing?" No, not more than Trevor. Trevor, like we we were, he, we were all over at my place the other night, and I ordered pizza. I get some plates out of the cabinet, and I go, I hand a plate to Trevor. He's like, <laughs> "It's like, dude, he's so scared. He's such a pussy, man. Trevor's just a fucking pussy." Um, he came on this podcast, Jacob. Did he talk about his flinching trauma? No, he talked about. Uh, how, how he, he likes prefers to, jerk to off. masturbate, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he uh, mm, he came I on here with that. uh, Ethan with Crank Gameplays, uh, and then uh, Crank Gameplays fan base canceled uh, him. What did he say? Like he hates black people or something? That's something actually, along that's those lines, exactly. Something it was a little worse, but it, yeah, feels very in character. Yeah, well, he said he used more targeted language, yeah, he used mm. more specific terminology, racial yeah. terminology, mm, cricket. yeah, so you know. That's, that's how intricate. Ethan is, yeah. though. You know, that's how Ethan is when the cameras are off. And, you know, we all know that at this point. <laughs> yeah. You got to be careful. <laughs> his fans might actually think you're serious. Oh, his fans. Uh, his fans ain't no fans of ours. Really? I well, when I, they were trying to cancel. Maybe they are. Okay, maybe they, a little well, they were trying to cancel Ethan because he laughed at a joke we made. Mm. Uh, and what I thought was funny about it was. <laughs> They didn't try to cancel like us for making the joke. It was like it was like it's super mega. It was like <laughs> nice. So you know you know where you can get away with. Yeah, not for long. They're coming, man. The pendulum swings. The pendulum. I mean, Bradley Cooper in Hangover. He said the f word. He did. Paging doctor. doctor. Yeah, it was in the trailers. Whoa. It tested so well. Why'd you say that? I had to bleep it out. What? Yeah, you don't have you to actually have to say, say it. it. I had to bleep it out. Oh, I'm being targeted. <laughs> Just like if we should. If, Ryan always does this to me. He'll like, he'll like be like, whoa, dude, don't actually say the N word. And I'm like, I didn't. He's like, well, uh, we had to bleep it out. But and I'm like, I didn't say. It. And then he'll put another bleep. And there's no way for me to prove that. Like, I didn't say it. You need a, you need a video element. Oh, well, that, that, I could, thought that room, could easily be worse. I thought this room would look more like the video that you have looping. Like dark, a and pitch like, yeah, black nice room, and chill. And no, it's it, a very uh, like uh, ther starting therapists. <laughs> yeah, it's a therapy room. We, we should uh, definitely uh, decorate this more. You know, I want to get a bunch of plants, some cool lights. Let's work on, and maybe I'll decorate it while you're gone. And when you come back, you'll have a brand new. This is the last podcast we're recording before Ryan goes home to yep. visit his familia. Yeah, so get maybe to go uh, see Gray. Ooh, get to go see. My family. Dude, get to go to the great. beach. That's great. Thanks, man. Yeah, I actually, I'm, I haven't seen my family in two years because of COVID. Okay, I'm about what? I'm not two years. I, I last time I saw him was holidays 2019. So That's it's been like a, while, a year yeah. and a half. That's a while. And I, I'm not. I'm used to seeing them. Like I'll go visit home like two to three times every year. Mm. And so yeah. yeah, for me, it's so I've only seen my family once since um 2019. Yeah, you traveled. <laughs> I did. I was risky. I shouldn't have done that, but I was just at a, such a low point, so depressed. I had to go home and see my family. I had to get those big lips of Anne's placed directly on my neck. Mm -hmm. It's very therapeutic. Do your parents listen to the podcast? My mom does. Mm. My dad doesn't watch her. My dad doesn't care about <laughs> anything I do now. Uh, I'll send him like a live action video, and he just I'll be like, hey, because like. You know, I want my father's approval. I couldn't do that to my dad. I think I, I'm, we're way too vulgar for my well, dad. Well, I'll send him a, like uh, like uh, daddy's boy. And I'm like, hey, dad, I'm pretty proud of this one. You watch it? Sure. My I'm dad like, would hate text the ending. Me. He'd find it mean. Fine. Are you really thinking about Why killing your mother? <laughs> <laughs> my dad's 75 and he found my channel on his own. Because if you just type Jacob with my like spelling into YouTube, it's a compilation of me throwing up. <laughs> Com compilation <laughs> Did of me throwing like up? It? Yeah. He loves it. He's like, you're a smart kid, but you play a great fool. <laughs> he doesn't sound like that. My dad's Isn't Jewish. Your dad Jewish. He's Jewish from New York, so I don't know how to. Well, that make was that. a good. That was a great impression of a New York Jew. <laughs> yeah. Jacob, see, I'm a, I'm a New York Jew, and I go, uh, you know, I go to mass every. Not mass. They don't go to mass. They go to what's it called? Ramadan temple. Ram Ramadan yeah, temple. Yeah. 
they go to Mecca every Sunday. You know, I love my dad. I'm so glad he didn't make me chop my penis off when I was a baby. Well, our mothers made us chop off our penises. Are you guys Jewish? No. no. Christian, but Christian circumcised. Weird choice. You know, the thing is, Jacob, neither of us had a say in our circumcision. Yeah. Why didn't you stand up for yourself? <laughs> I couldn't stand at the time. <laughs> I don't think I could even form a thought. I think I was pretty fresh out the womb. I think I got circumcised the day I was born. I think like right when I come out, like the first thing they do. It's best to just do it now so they don't remember. They, you don't want them to get attached to their force. Well, they <laughs> circumcised Ryan without even asking his mom if uh, if, if she wanted it. They didn't even ask. Did they? No. no remember when, she, when we called your mom about circumcision and she's like, yeah, they just did it. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, but she was just like, okay. You know, it's the normal thing to do. You know, it's just like that's what penises are supposed to look like mm -hmm. from what she's seen. You know, you probably have some benefits. Huh? Man, when I, I roll my shit back to piss, it's so much better because normally it like splits streams. And sex goes feels better for you yeah. because 90% like, of the fucking nerves. For us, it's too sensitive. Is it? Sometimes I would say like not just not to have sex, but like I'd say like afterwards, we don't have that sheath to protect the mm. the the head of our penis. Man, what's a fucking so sword without a sheath? Like, it's just all there and you're feeling everything afterwards. Is it like battle scarred? Because it's in your, like... For me, I, I, yes. I'm like, ow. I do have a, I have a pretty significant circumcision scar. Ugh. You see I mean, it? no, it's awesome. I've seen your penis already. I've seen his penis. I saw his penis the first day I met you. Of course. I saw Ryan, Ryan and I saw each other's penis the first day we met. I've known Trevor since we were like 10 or 12 years old and I've never seen his penis. You know why? Because he doesn't want to show Has a small penis. penis. Really, you think? If someone doesn't want to show you their penis, it doesn't mean that they just aren't uncomfortable with that. It means that they or have maybe a small they're penis. just not they're just not uh, uh, an inherently um, brave person. To well, Tre we know show Trevor's not brave. Penis. Exactly, Trevor's he not flinches brave. a lot. He probably maybe has just... a hog. He's probably you know exactly. carry, carrying loads. I think Trevor has a pretty off. sizable penis. I mean, he's a big guy. There's a lot of friends. Uh, you know, it's funny. Like Ryan and I show each other our penises all the time. Mm -hmm. Like. It's just fun. I wish that was a joke. <laughs> you know, That's not like, a joke. But there's a lot of people I'm, I'm friends with. I'm more comfortable showing me, showing you my penis than I am anyone else. <laughs> Honestly, that's true for me. Like I don't, I don't have anyone else in my life that I'm more comfortable showing my penis to than you. Are you joking? No, I'm not joking. I, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm thinking. I actually there isn't. I actually like would like the the least amount of judgment. The the most just like comfortable like showing my penis to a girl is so scary but showing my penis to ryan is like it's like a walk in the park it's like he we, we get joy from it you know yeah there's laughter involved there's there's dopamine rushing into our brains right? when when i see ryan's penis my dopamine levels do spike actually i guarantee if we hooked up to some kind of machine that would happen like when i see your penis <laughs> it would be like a whoop. like my brain like if you were scanning my brain you'd see it like lighting up in certain it's kind places. of romantic this is a beautiful yeah, man. I mean, that's 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 just what's great about being best friends with you, man. Just just find yourself a, a friend you can show your penis to comfortably mm -hmm. and not feel judged. First day we met each other, we saw each other's penises. <laughs> yeah, I've never been nervous showing my penis to a girl, but I would never show it to anybody else. Why not? I don't know. It's just easier that way. Okay. It's like you're supposed to see this. Yeah, Ex bitch. You're supposed <laughs> to see this. This is your job. <laughs> It's not like I just walk, hey, here's my This cock. is what you were created for. No, dude, I really don't like when girls see my penis. I get scared. I really get scared. If she's letting you pull it out, she wants to see it anyway, so it's a big deal. The, what about when it's like a nurse, a doctor? She wants to see Actually, it? Actually, I got an ultrasound because I thought I had- uh, On your they, penis? See if you were pregnant? <laughs> on my balls. They thought I had cancer. And, I, and they she I, it was flopped on my stomach and it was cold, so it was shrinking, and she laughed at me. Oh. And I- I'd never felt more humiliated. In my wow. Life. Was it like a. <clears throat> like, now that's a small cock. Like she was like, all right, you need to position like this. And I positioned myself and I was like, like this. And she looked at me and she went. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> it's just my like dick shrunk like to a quarter of its size on my stomach. Man. It's trying I, to protect itself. I had to it get doesn't my, have a shell. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get my penis examined by a doctor like two years ago. Um, because of the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But, but she just you were had itching a, for a while. Yeah, whew, it was bad. No, it was uh, I'm it's a remember. fungal infection on your cock. No, it wasn't a fungal infection. Dude, what was it? It was something. It was like a that. bacterial. Uh, it was an. It was transmitted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I did have to have a doctor a little a couple years ago look at my penis. Not because it was like doc. I think I have an STD, but it was like part of the uh, exam I was going in for. 
um, to the penis checking exam. So but normally like, when a doctor sees my penis, I just stand up and drop my trousers and then they, you know, inspects it. What she did was like, for some reason, she's like, all right, lay down. And like, she like put a light on overhead and I just had to like sit like this <laughs> with like my flaccid cock. And she was like, did she smack it with the glove before like putting the glove on? <laughs> She gotta, she was, and then gotta she, warm it up. When she was done, she went, <laughs> give me a little kiss. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> but the most embarrassing thing was I, uh, before my hemorrhoid surgery, when I had to go get checked again, like when he had to really like feel around in there, uh -huh. you know, the whole law where it's like a doctor is not allowed to see you naked or touch you naked unless there's a witness in the room. So the doctor, same doctor. Is that true? Yeah. Because, uh, my pediatrician touched me with no one in the room all really? the time. Yeah. It's a liability thing. So he would cough. Or I would cough. He wouldn't cough. I mean, sometimes he would cough. Maybe you didn't see I the person smell. in the room. It's a liability thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, all of a sudden when I leave, it's like they're painted to look like the stethoscope and like the jar of like... They're like uh, on the wall, like with like everything on them. <laughs> yeah. There's like eight of them. <laughs> no, but it's a, it's like a liability thing. from the thing. ceiling. <laughs> okay, that was good. Because I could, A, it's to keep the doctor from being a little weirdo. And B, it, it if I'm like, the doctor sucked my dick. There's a witness that's like, no, he didn't. Uh, <laughs> but what if the witness is in on it? What if the witness also sucks? Then you're your gonna dick? have a crazy threesome that a lot of people fantasize about. But no one will believe you because they'll say you lied. I would love for my doctor to sub my car. Big old fat Jewish dude. Oh my god. But basically, I go in. You know, he has to like look inside my asshole and stick a finger up there. So he's like, all right, Matthew, just bend over this uh, table, and uh, I did. But he's like, all right, uh, nurse. So she had to come in and watch, and she was my age. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And I was like, oh, fuck. Because I was like, I was nervous because she was so cute. And then literally she just had to, like, stand there. I was like, all right, let's, wow, you've got some hemorrhoids in the in here. And he had to, like, stick his finger, like, all up my ass with some lube. Did you come? Yes. Did he touch your prostate? Um, I think he did get deep enough. For nice. That. Yeah. that must happen to some people. You're, like, getting checked, and then you just, like, pop a boner in the, on the floor. Yeah, I mean, I think it's... I th can't help it sometimes. Exactly. Well, I mean, if you nut from your prostate just being touched, that'd be awesome, honestly. Just get you the can job be done stimulated so by your prostate and come through that. No, yeah, no, obviously, but not, I mean, like, just, like, one touch, like... <laughs> well, if it makes you feel better, it's probably, like, her 15th, like, hemorrhoid thing she saw today. You know what I mean? Yeah, but she hadn't seen anyone as cute as me. She, yeah, it's well, probably, that's, probably yeah. better, right? She's like, oh, finally. I finally get to... She's like, oh, holy shit, finally that's Matt Watson. YouTuber shows up. <laughs> that's Matt Watson from YouTube. Well, and she I started get to taking, like, bubble. photos. <laughs> like, she wants a selfie. Would you give it to her? Yeah. <laughs> While you're getting your hemorrhoid check? And, like, turn around, like... <laughs> I'd do it if you couldn't get, see like, my butt hole in, in the air. But, like, if my butt was censored, yeah. That'd be terrifying if, like, someone walked in. Like, your doctor was checking your hemorrhoids and the nurse came in and she was a fan. Oh my god, hold on. I have... Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> the, close, the closest thing to that was I was getting my hair cut once, um, a couple years ago, like two years ago, and the hairdresser was like really asking me a lot of personal questions. Mm -hmm. um, because cause I, I had known this woman for a while, and I'm like, starting talking about my, my parents getting divorced, so I started talking about like very personal details of my parents' divorce. I've been like, every, you know, I have all this conversation, and then I get up at the end, and then the girl next to me is like, hey, before you go, can I get a picture? And I was like, oh, my God. She literally just, like, heard everything. I talked about my parents' divorce and, like, intimate family issues and shit. And I was like, uh-oh. I guess she didn't want to bother you during the haircut. Well, because she just had to, she really had to listen. Close. She was writing it down on her phone. <laughs> All right, Dale, trying to get custody. <laughs> custody of his <laughs> adult children? <laughs> So, sir, you know that's not how that works, right? No, I'm getting custody of my 25-year-old son. After they turn 18, they're no longer yours. My sister, what? My sister's about to turn 30. So wait, are kids just parents' property until they become 18? Yeah. Are they yeah, just like legitimately property? Like a car. Yes, that's how it works. Depreciating value as they get older, too. That's crazy. Legal guardian, man. Te you know what's weird? Technically, we could get someone and be their legal guardian. You should, what's, the, what's the age limit to be a legal guardian? 21? I don't. Th I think as long as you're over 18? eighteen, right? You should just adopt a seventeen-year-old, so you have one year with like your own, <laughs> with our own kid. Yeah. We'll just keep we could have done that so with Justin. Oh man, there was a point where we could have been Justin's legal guardians. <laughs> Darn, our, our his dad's man. We should. What about uh? He wants to come on the podcast. Nicholas can't can't to can't. He's the guy that voices Gumball. Okay, mm -hmm. I know uh, who you're talking about now. I think he's like, seventeen, so we could adopt him. Until he turns 18. Is he is he not 18 by now? I don't think. I think he's 17. Because his voice changed. It's, I, I guess, yeah. 
Well, my well, usually people's voice changes before they turn eighteen. Yeah, but it sounded it, well. There's it, two. There's multiple voice actors yeah. for Gumball. Oh, what? Really? Yeah, there's one from the beginning and there's one towards. I the thought end. it was the same person. No, nah, because just, the first kid got old. I thought that's I why they kept. Finn from I thought, Adventure Time. I thought that's no. why they. Wait, Finn was the one who had the same voice actor all the way through. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's well, Nicholas. Wait, wait, wait. There's Nic- two Gumball voice actors. I could be smoking cock right now, but no, Finn, <laughs> I, it's all making sense in my brain. The person who voices Finn—that's who I'm thinking of mm. in terms of like their voice changing and then, yep, like, he's seventeen going along with the show. September eighth, two thousand three. Voice Gumball. There were two voice actors for Gumball. Really? Yeah, I know because someone I know dated the first one. Oh, really? Yeah. Any fun stories? Hey, any stories any, about his any Gumball gossip? <laughs> Come on. Uh, it's not no, my story no, to actually, tell. I know, I know. <laughs> but uh, if you wanted to share them with the world right now and embarrass anyone. And, I think and, it was when they were kids, so it's like, I don't oh, know. Oh, that, well, we're not the ones telling the story, so it would fall on you, but. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it was Ethan. It was Crank Gameplays. Uh, who voiced Gumball? Who dated the no, first no, voice the, of Gumball? Who, who told Jacob the stories he's about to tell about the minor. Oh, yeah. So take so it up Ethan with Ethan. Was, if, Ethan was saying it's kind of hard to retell. It's just riddled with slurs. <laughs> so. yeah, well, I mean, that's it, I can't really ever repeat anything Ethan says uh, off camera to me because it's he's a completely different person off camera. Oh my god! You know, on camera he's so nice and he's you know he's a little Eve. Yeah, he's got his painted fingernails. And he's got his big smile. He's like a teddy bear with the with some of the stuffing taken out because he's not like a, a big dude. You mm-hmm. know. But he's, well, a, he's really good he's at hiding his height dude. on camera. The, he's like, he's like a two. stiff teddy bear. Yeah. But then off camera, he's kind of like a teddy bear that's been chewed up by a dog a and complete buried monster. in the backyard mm. and rained on and yeah. everything. It's kind of like an evil Vern Troyer, RIP. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, God Ethan damn. is pretty similar to Vern Troyer. <laughs> <laughs> RIP mini-me, dude. Is Ethan like Mark's mini-me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish they did a video where Ethan dressed up as Mark. Uh, I saw a face apt picture of the two of them combined, and it it looked, does it look like the same person? <laughs> it, it like it, it looked. Does it look like a real person? Yeah, it looks like I was like, oh wow! I like the people. The, have we ever combined ourselves on face app? Uh, people have done that on our uh, subreddit. Have you ever seen those pictures? Where it's like this is not a real person. It's just like an oh, AI yeah. created person. I'm like, that I'm pretty website. sure there's someone who looks like this. No. Nope. <laughs> there's, there's, because like, there's people who look like you. There's people who look like all of us as, somewhere. I'm sure, Mm-mm. not like identical, but like enough to where people would be like, "Is that?" Well, one time mm-hmm. I was nope. at like a mama's pizza when I was a kid. My, uh, the guy showed me his kid, and he looked exactly like me. It was one of the most terrifying experiences <laughs> of my life. He's like, "This is my son," and we were the same age. <laughs> Did you have like the same like fashion? We had and the yeah, we had the same glasses, <laughs> the same haircut. I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" I, th- I think I'd have Annie. a. That's weird. <laughs> I think I'd be freaked out, especially as a kid, because your imagination is just like so much mm-hmm. more. I'd be like, there's a clone of me out there. It's going to kill Did my parents I never me? went back. Never went back to that mama's pizza. <laughs> For that specific reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why you got to go to Cece's pizza. That guy also hit on my mom. Wait, who was it that said that's- Is that, your mom attractive? Awesome. Could when you I understand kid, why he would? When I was a kid, people would hit on my mom a lot. So you're answering with yes. When I was younger, yeah, my mom was a baddie. She had that thing, you know? <sighs> Not Shut anymore. Up, baddie. Does she's, she not keep? Oh, it up? she had that she's thing, dude. Now, you know. <laughs> and you know, COVID it hit us all. Oh yeah. Jacob's so. mom's a little baddie. Oh, hasn't hit you, dude. I, hasn't hit you at all. I feel like ugh, I got to work out. Re- you have to work out. Yeah, dude. I, I was mean, in a lot better shape for before. general health. I'm sure, but in terms of physique and look, you're 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 golden. I'm still like you're ready you to look go great, out man. When you get... took your shirt off for the video and you're all self conscious, like a little bitch, I was like, you look great, <laughs> dude. What are you talking about? I'm still like, I need to wear a black t shirt at the pool, kind of the vibe. That's 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 literally that's me. That's I'm. I should yeah, be but that you're guy. good looking. Mm. I feel like you have a striking eye contact. You have great hair. You have a nice beard. Frames your face well. He's hey, right. Yeah. Yeah, but like when I look at myself, right, I've said this many times. I see like a thumb thumb with like a beard and like a you know. I think that's everyone though. You look in the I mirror, see and you're like, like a oh, head. I see a Halloween decoration when I look in the mirror. I see like a pear shape, you know? No, dude. No. I see but, a beautiful fucking hunk. You know, it's it's good to have friends where we're all you know. We may be down on ourselves, but well, everyone is a self player hater. Yeah, uh-huh. and you, you know who really can't believe it, but it's so like Tre- Trevor's so handsome. I think he'll never get over Trevor it, is one of the most handsome men I've ever met. I think. Yeah. And you know, most people disagree with me on and that. And you've met but... Jason Momoa. Uh-huh. You met Jason Momoa. Uh-huh. When? Uh, last year we hung out. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Just good times. It was great times. Who's Jason Momoa? 
<laughs> Aquaman. <laughs> oh. Um, he was. I went out with Jason Momoa to Samoa Thrones? and had mimosas. I don't know. He was a Dracula. <laughs> it's something like that. Where it's like he's the count. He's not count something. He's like Crod. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he played Crod. Dude, Crod Man cruise. Dune. Yeah. Hey, you ever hey, seen Crod Man Dune? No, I don't. Am I the that? only person that watched Crod Man Dune? I'm Listen pit, I want, where's my Crod Man Dune fans? I went to Samoa with Jason Momoa, Jeez. sipping mimosas, eating samosas. You know, Harley Davidson Bars. is using Jason Momoa to help sell their culture. Harley Davidson? Yeah. Harley Davidson culture? <laughs> yeah. That? Huge culture, dude. It's like motorcycles and shitty t-shirts. Leather. Leather. Riding without a helmet. You know, it's like the straight man's leather, riding leather with daddy like a, stuff. With like a... Like a half helmet, but you should always be wearing a full face helmet. Ryan, please get for your bike just one of the helmets. Just has the big spike. <laughs> so like when I when I go through someone's windshield, I, I tail their like <laughs> fucking cranium. Yeah, if if they're taking your life, you're taking theirs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm taking you with me. That's my favorite thing, Spoonie. That's why I have a said. giant spear like that I always carry on my bike. <laughs> like jousting. <laughs> like hey, a if jousting. I crash, you're going with me. That's literally Mad Max. So it's like if you if you, if you cut me off and I die, you're gonna die too. That's why that's why Ryan keeps uh, uh, sticks of dynamite on the back of it. <laughs> very delicate sticks of dynamite. So if he crashes, you know, you blow up too. It would look sick. Can you imagine you're on the highway, you see someone else's. I've always wanted to see like a like a big explosion. explosion. Yeah, you could create one. Could there's this place like three hours out of like where I live in Texas where you can shoot like tank rounds and like M4 rounds and things like that. We were looking Video at idea. a place like that to drive to drive a tank at once. Yeah, we, we were gonna called driveatank.com. Yeah, well, we were gonna do a video. We were gonna go uh, do a video where we we're like gonna go drive tanks and shoot them and shit and shoot machine guns. But I think it was in like Minnesota, so yeah, we could still do it. It would be worth COVID, it. It'd be so fun. we could fly out. You should you should go to you should come to Austin. Stay with me. And okay. Go drive a tank with me. I would love to spend love a lot of a lot more time in Austin. We only Austin's have to spend awesome. like a day. Austin Motel, dude, great fucking cool place to stay. You know, I was being stupid because like I was doing that thing where I was trying to be responsible about looking at what I eat. So I like I didn't eat that much when we were in Texas. I would like have a meal. That I was, should like, have been counting my place. calories. Yeah. And now like I, I still look the fucking same. I actually <laughs> didn't put in the fucking amount of effort that I should have. So it's like I should have just enjoyed that food. But now when I come back to Austin, I'm definitely gonna enjoy some. You food. gotta go to Franklin's. You gotta take me. We did. I haven't been. I still haven't been. It's like a three-hour Wait, hour Jackson, yeah. did we go to Franklin's in Austin? Uh, oh, was that the place with the line that was like six hours? Yeah. We stood in line for a little bit and then bailed because- You have the, to go in the morning. Wait, they brought bread that was really good. You got to go in the morning. You got to wait like three hours before and then you'll be good. They weren't open So yet. you still have to wait for three hours. You have to wait before they're open. We, they weren't open and the line was three to four hours. And I was like, mm, what, Did you go on a weekday or a weekend? I think it was a weekday. Shit. It reminds me of um. You gotta just make that. You gotta make it worth it. What's his name? He he has a place. It's it, it's like hot chicken in downtown L.A. What's Roscoe's it? chicken Ro and waffles. No, not Roscoe's. Hold up one second. I'll try. Dave's hot it. chicken. It's it's like Gus a, Gus's. It's like someone's name. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> no. Michael's chicken. I mean, it starts with an H. Maybe Hughes. No, not Hamoud? Hughes. Hamoud's Hamoud hot chicken, chicken. <laughs> in downtown Los Angeles. Uh. Oh, Howlin' Rays. Oh, how Howlin yeah, dude, Rays. that place I have never been, but the line, there's it's in China. I had it once. In China it's town. it's good. The line is fucking crazy. Is it good? I like it. I'm at it. Was it worth the wait? I went at a time where I only waited for like I'm going to say only, but it was like an hour, hour and a half. Mm -hmm. I just got lucky, and I know sometimes the line can be 2 to 3 hours, like pre-covid and all that too. So like I enjoyed it. I I I enjoyed the experience of waiting in line, having conversation, just relaxing, then getting the food and then, then enjoying it. And Dude. it wasn't like not worth it. Just Fuck it. Just bring the blue, the, the iPad with the big blue case. <laughs> yeah. Throw on like two episodes bring a of lawn True chair. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's what I need to start doing when I like know I'm going to have to sit in line. Like, why bring a wheelchair, I? dude? People, like, <laughs> what am I afraid of? People are going to be like, oh, he's lazy. He's not standing. No, it's like, they're all going to be jealous. Yeah, at, that's why they're all going to be so upset. I think at Franklin's they have like a big stack of lawn chairs. They do. Like, <laughs> really? Yep, mm -hmm. Come sit down. <laughs> it was yeah. scorching hot that day too, I remember. Um, we were waiting in line. So we waited for like 30 minutes and we're like, you know what? They, but they did bring out really good bread. I think it was bread. The brisket everyone. apparently is really No, no, no. They brought out brisket. They brought out like uh, barbecue, like and little you got samples. a little piece of it? Mm-hmm. For people in line, which was very smart because they're like, 
Mm, more where this came from inside. Fuck it, just come down, drive a tank, wait in line for some brisket. <laughs> drive my, I'll drive my tank to Austin from I, LA. I want to go to the Alamo Draft House. That's open right in Austin. Yeah, That's you can down. rent it out for yourself. There's too. one here it's too. 150 bucks. You get the whole theater yourself. Should we all just rent it out? Yeah, fuck it. Why Watch not? a movie. They they have a list though. It's like Kung Fu Panda Three. <laughs> Wait, they have a list that <laughs> yeah yeah you have to pick like you can't because just you can't you there, there's like laws where you can't just show any movie in a movie theater. But I paid for it. Doesn't matter. But it's my money. Wait, what about can we go? Just, can we just have a day of watching Super Mega in the movie theater? <laughs> you, I think you could. I remember when I was a kid, they hooked up Halo Three on the theater oh, at like some oh, birthday party. Or Wii Sports and in, in a theater, dude. The delay is horrible, but it's so fun because mm. it's massive, right? I remember one of the employees for because I had a birthday party at a movie theater. Mm. One of the employees put in like Guitar Hero and was just oh. playing it on the big screen and shit. That's awesome. Really, and I, yeah, we also played Call of Duty. I want to say it was like. Not, of course, not the most recent World War II one because I was a kid when this happened. Is like, was it just called World War II? A World at War? Yeah, World, of War, World yeah. at War. I think. Yeah, I think they had that on the on the on the big screen. I'd love to play old school RuneScape on there. I was screen. fourteen at the time. We should run a theater soon just and play video games all day. Okay, I mean, round one in Burbank is is open. And I I want to go. I have. We haven't been yet because the week it opened was the week. COVID lockdown started. Yeah. But it's open again. So if you guys go to the round one in Burbank, maybe you'll see me and Ryan hanging out. Not anytime soon because I'm going to be in South Carolina, of course. That's what we're saying. We're just, we're just saying that so we can go enjoy it without those pesky little fans. Oh. <laughs> what, yeah, go. What's well, round one? I don't even know. It's a it's an arcade oh, where you, so cool. they have bowling. They, you can just get drinks there. Um, they have food, bowling, not, mm-hmm. karaoke. But mm-hmm. the main thing is the fucking massive arcade. They have like Every fucking game ever, and you can win tickets on a little card and everything. Mm. And then there's also, like, if you want to play, like, pool or darts, whatever. But the karaoke's fun. So it's a really big, really big arcade. And it's super fucking fun. I'm Next time you're here, we'll shut go. down with COVID. Oh, well, it did, it, they built a brand new one, and the week it opened was the week that the lockdown started. So oh, they just geez. opened it back up. There's a bunch of them around, but this was... All the ones are really far away, like City of Industry or... Covina or wherever so it's like it takes forever to drive there mm-hmm. but this one it's in Burbank so ain't too far so basically uh, next time you're in are you coming next weekend too? Coming next weekend for just like a couple three days. Three weeks? You're flying out three weekends in a row? Yeah and then maybe the one after that and then early June first first weekend. My man's hustling he's got some videos lined up he's been doing it. They're exciting I love shooting like I love shooting it's so much fun. They're, they're, they're cool videos I'm mm-hmm. excited. You should do one with Ryan where uh, I had an idea. I actually did have an idea for one you should do with Ryan. I'm trying to remember. You should you should take Ryan sword. You guys should go deep sea swordfish fishing. <laughs> deep sea spear fishing. Why don't you guys go like shark cage diving? Shark cage diving? <laughs> go into a shark cage. Sharks are like yeah. a, the ocean in general. I'm just terrified. Would terrified. you ever do the, the shark cage with me? For a video. We should. How about... For a video, let's I all would. go skydiving for a video. Yeah, Ted wants to also, right? I'd love to go skydiving. I told Ted he looks like I real life troll I could face. Do it. I just feel I just I have this. I don't know what to call it except for like McGee luck. It's not good, but I just feel like I have that. Like it would happen that I'd have the trainer that's like having trouble with his wife at home. <laughs> I'm strapped to him and he's not paying attention. And he pulls a cord and I just fall clean out from under him. He still he, has his parachute. He slept on the luck. couch last I have, night. I have and great <laughs> luck. My my trainer's going to be like a world oh, <laughs> Yeah, He's going to like be a, okay, this is our new trainer. He's an Olympian. He's been doing this since he was around five. <laughs> he did it illegally, but you know, it's Ryan's guy shows up like drunk <laughs> just, <laughs> off he, of a bender. He pulls the cable that just just detaches Ryan. He's like right before <laughs> right Whoops. before we jump, he's like watching a video of like his wife cheating on him on like the home ring camera or some shit. <sighs> he nose dives and he's just like here attached. To him. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, taking you with me, boy. He's like taking he's like drinking as he's falling. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, bitch. I had a dream last night about that where I already told you, long story short, part of my dream was Neville from Harry Potter. He was falling <laughs> off a cliff into a crocodile's mouth. And as he was falling, he was like chugging an entire bottle of liquor. And then he fell into the crocodile's mouth and died. Why would you chug the bottle? Like, you're not going to get drunk. <laughs> hey, 
man. He's going out with a with a, it actually it looked like the bottle of Hennessy. I don't I don't know what it was. It was just dark liquor and Neville. I do so like you're the telling me Neville was drinking a bottle of Hennessy while talking <laughs> to an alligator's mouth. Yeah. Was a well, song playing? Was it in slow motion? No, he it sounds was, like he a was Zach slow motion, Schneider. He was speaking yeah. up to the camera because it was from like a Harry Potter movie. I love you, Matt. Keep following your dreams. He was like, I'm Neville from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Matt, follow those dreams, man. I'll see you on the other side. By the way, I played Neville in Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> That's that I wish. Dude, I had some weird ass dreams last night. So you're lucky, man. You describing vivid dreams just seems so. I was fun. describing my dreams to him. I had one dream where I like uh was turned into like a tweaker and I entered this really weird like compound that was like 50 stories tall and I was going through the different rooms while tweaking and it was weird because the rooms were like I can't I can't even do I just had weird dreams last night the most recent dream I had I rarely have dreams that mm. I can at least remember I guess all right Martin Luther but <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream but it was Neville was falling off the cliff <laughs> this one wasn't about civil rights unfortunately I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not yeah, everyone king. has their rights right now right yeah, it yeah, seems rights so. are done. Races you are have equal. your rights, right? Yeah, I okay, can as like, a Canadian. I can have well, like any. I can sit anywhere I want on the bus. That's awesome. <laughs> also, I mean, John Tron said racism doesn't exist in America today. He also said like uh, black people are ruining the gene pool or something. Oh, dude, don't worry. Last time I I said something John Tron said, which was literally just a direct quote. I got yeah. uh, plenty of plenty of angry John Tron fans. I don't. I don't. I don't watch John Tron. <laughs> Why not? I don't like him. What? Yeah, you're he, you're willing to say that on a podcast so bluntly where people can 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 tattle? Hey man, you don't care? Oh, they love to tattle. What if he cries? If I if I make a joke if about he, John Tron, they tattle. If you hurt his feelings, would you care? Not really. <laughs> I mean, I don't know the guy. Okay. But I don't like him personally. Okay. <laughs> Why? Cuz the racist stuff or mostly yeah, I also just like uh I don't like pixel art. <laughs> don't you think white people should have an ethno state? Yeah, isn't that Israel? That's no. Am I I'm Jewish, I'm allowed to say that. Dude, you and I are about to throw hands. Yeah, Ryan's passed in. Really? Also, if we guys, shake hands, then it's like, dude. Whoa! We just solved, we solved the, it. <laughs> the Israeli-Palestinian <laughs> conflict. Well, you're not Israeli. You're took, Jewish. I almost took my. Uh, but still, you know, he has a claim to the land. Whatever, yeah. Your birthright trip? Yeah, I almost took it. It's like a free trip. They try to get you to like marry you like an a IDF soldier. Wait, what? They like send you there. You and marry they, an a soldier? They send you there. They pay for the flight. They mm -hmm. pay for everything, they and they like. They put like pretty ladies around you. To try oh, to marry I was picturing like bearded is like Israeli soldiers. No, no, no. They, make they like marry you to Dude, them. Dude, the IDF is awesome. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, it's like totally swagged out or whatever. The Independent Dad Foundation. <laughs> it's for single fathers to put them back on their feet. It's awesome. It's a great thing. My yeah, dad's my dad got custody of me when I was 23 years old. <laughs> 25. <laughs> Man, the IDF is okay. Uh, first of all, IDF is gay. Second, uh, real bad timing. Gay? Unfortunately, As in like a negative thing. No, like they're very happy people. Okay. Uh, real bad timing because like we shot the mo the mail, mail room number twenty five. We shot that like a month and a half before it came out, and I was wearing a t shirt someone sent that has the cast of Five Nights at Freddy's, but it says Israel on it. <laughs> Coincidentally, I've seen that comments that are like great timing. That video came out. Uh, the same week as the the bit uh, as the current uh, Israeli Palestinian what did conflict you mean was by exploding. That like, what's the commentary there? Well, man, I was making a, st a statement by wearing the Five Nights at Freddy's Israel shirt. You know, living in Israel. I'll let like, I'll let you guys uh, piece. I'll let you guys figure it out yourself. But being a Palestinian is like being purple guy in Five Nights at Freddy's. Mm -hmm. You're just misunderstood. <laughs> yeah. purple guy? What? What do you mean who's, you mean purple? who's purple guy? Dude, I just played the first one and the Gmod map and I got scared. <laughs> and you never saw purple guy? Who's purple guy? <sighs> Have you ever heard I gotta of watch Filthy Frank? Pat. I gotta you watch do. Pat. You actually do. There's a bunch of purple guy Matt Pat videos. He makes a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's videos. Matt Pat? Still? I think so, yeah. No way. He yeah. still makes Five Have Nights. Have you seen Food Theory? He has a new channel. He has a food lot of theory, theory food channels. Food theory. Yeah, he's like, what? Do you mean what? food theory? Well, one of them, he's just How wearing, did the hot dog come to be? He was wearing like, he was wearing like bread gloves from Panera Bread the whole day. I think that was the theory. Does, the, does eating a hot dog make you, is it like, is it, Freddy Fazbear? Is it kind of like how like, if, if Super Size Me were like an episode of food theory, like for example, he like, sm nah, has more, like, like gimmicky ideas that he like, dude, I love Diet Coke. That's it? And then he'll drink a lot of it. <laughs> what yeah, happens if I drink Diet Coke f for a week straight I, and hey, nothing else? Is that like what it is? I'm or not is a it food just theory like head. I'm more of a, a movie theory guy. But uh, Three million subs. 
Food theory? Mm -hmm. Let's see. And we can't even reach one. You guys are going to make it. <laughs> the disturbing lore of the M&Ms. Food theory. You're eating pasta. Wrong! Was it all caps? I'm eating pasta yeah. wrong? How am I supposed Food to Food theory. It? We are running out of ketchup. That's is, not a... Is, are we? Is, are we running a, out of ketchup? I ketchup is any... literally a renewable resource. You can, all, you can just grow more tomatoes. Mm. Grow more ketchup. But what if you run out of land? <laughs> We're not going to run out of land, dude. Do you see all the mountains that we still have? Arizona? To conquer yeah. here in California? To conquer? We just flatten them. <laughs> we blow them up. Just nuke them. Need more tomatoes. <laughs> we need more ketchup for our burgers. We yeah, just, president's we looking, Nepal. Biden's looking at his phone. He's like, oh my God, we're running out of ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go level Nepal. Get rid of all the Himalayas and plant some to ketchup. Mr. Mr. Biden, uh, do not, it. It's not U.S. to tear. No, no, no. It's well, that's never stopped us before. It hasn't. Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, they stole that. They parked for a, pineapples. Parked a navy ship at the. <laughs> they aimed a cannon at the castle, and they're like, "Give us Hawaii, and it's ours now." Yeah, and it is. Are you trying to say it's not? It's not. I Hawaii, mean, it is. It's a state. My great. It's U.S. Uncle. territory. What a weird state. My oh, okay. Then why don't? Why doesn't Hawaii go defend themselves? Then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that they like recently said they discovered like the U.K. or something like that? Wait, what? Like some whole native Hawaiians showed up in the U.K. and they're like, "We found it." <laughs> no, well, they sh they cl they claimed it. That's how it works, right? That's Isn't how that kind of what like days. has always happened though? Like when Christopher Columbus came, there was already like millions of yeah. settlers here. He's like, "I found it." He's like, this is India. Yeah, but then he got the show them Manifest Destiny moving out to the Ooh. West on the Trail of Tears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Manifest. And they made him really sick. He didn't make him sick. It was an accident. They shouldn't have been <laughs> Accidents so. Accidents happen. They shouldn't have been so sick. land. <laughs> Dude, they shouldn't have been have such weak immune system. <coughs> Do you know the natives were like terrified of horses? I thought yeah. they rode them. I thought they rode them. Dude. Yeah, but when they first showed up, there's no horses here, right? So the yeah. first time they saw the horse, they're like, what the fuck is that? That's a weird looking but, dude. But then once we showed them how to ride horses. Yeah, then they're like, yo, this is my They shit. were action heroes. They were way better at they it. They stood on them and like fired arrows Weren't they and riding shit, horses like Legolas? before we got here? There were no horses in America. I thought horses were wild native in America. They were terrified of horses. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure horses are native like to I thought, America. Like like stallions. Maybe my history teacher in ninth grade lied to me. I would, I would, that, because I, I have pictures in my head of history books of native americans riding on horses because mm -hmm. they appreciate horses they existed in north america as recently as twelve thousand years ago how long ago was that um definitely not before hey can you just like, horses are native to north america really 45 million year old fossils no way are you serious yeah. that's crazy i got lied to wait you did did america have horses before columbus columbus did not introduce horses the original theory accepted by the western world was that there were no horses in america's prior to columbus's arrival in 1492 the western world concluded that all horses of native american people were therefore descendants of horses brought from overseas but that's there were horses in native culture before the settlers came dude my two million I years ago literally was horses operating with like false information thank you you it's were okay. part of like the, I was part of a cabal. The, of a white, the white man gave everything to people. You were, you know. I need to listen to more Dr. Umar, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or who? Dr. Oz, actually. Great doctor. Didn't he, like, cure eczema or something? No, he's not even a real doctor. Oh, my he's bad. He's a television personality about who Maury? doesn't even have a doctor. Maury's a doctor. I would trust Maury more than Dr. Oz. Is Dr. Phil a doctor? Yeah, he is. He has a doctorate in TV production. <laughs> Ryan, you saw him that one time in his big black Escalade. Yeah, with and his with his with his like golden retrievers. And you something. waved him, and he didn't. He just yeah. He. Well, I mean, he's Doctor Phil. I was just some kid I on a. Dr. I was Phil. some like fresh out of high school. Like this is my parents went. Now, do you want to go to Europe or do you want to go to Los Angeles? And I went Hollywood. <laughs> made the right choice. <laughs> I know. I, I definitely made the wrong choice. Have you been to Europe? No, I've never been either. I've never been. We should go. Okay, let's Why go to not? Europe this year. Yeah, let's do like no, maybe not August. This not this year. No way. Really? Wouldn't they, wouldn't they be cleared up by that? Well, probably not. I feel like I maybe feel not like August, the, but maybe I feel the like winter. the travel to that extent is probably going to be until next year. Mm. But like we can we can travel comfortably now within the state. We were right? hoping to do Japan vlogs later this year, but now it's looking like with Japan's new COVID surge because they got the Olympics in two months. They're going to cancel that. Again, yeah. yeah. They're, it, they're still calling it the 2020 Olympics, too. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Oof. That's, uh, it's not looking good for them. That's a lot of money they Only spend, like 1% you know? of Japan is vaccinated, too. Why Which is, is weird. 
We've 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 actually I don't I, I think we've done a decent job with the vaccination rollout of hoarding all the vaccines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I know, taking I, them from other. people. I know a lot of people aren't even getting their second shot. They're just getting their first Why? shot and they're just like not doing the you, second. Like one. You, I read a thing online. Like you know of people or you you've read that people or you know people. I read that. Okay, it's very bad if you just get one. It doesn't really mm -hmm. like got to get both of them. They're free. Yeah. Uh, what? It's free for me to be uh microchipped by Mr. Gates himself. Yeah. Poor Bill, man. I would do it. Why not? You know, Melinda is about to be back in the dating scene. Back in scene. the saddle, you know? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to make a move? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Ryan and I are both going to enter a polyamorous relationship with Melinda Gates. That's a lot of money on the line. Hope you signed a prenup. You know, we're mm -hmm. young, and I'm sure, you know, I'm. we may not be in, like, the best of shape, but... but she I, doesn't care about money anymore. She she's She's had... In, she has infinite money for the rest of her life, so mm. now she's just trying to seek out something better than money. And what is that? YouTuber penis. YouTuber peni. Mm, yep. Plural. Good one. Or penis. As in, like, nice catch. Yeah. You guys should approach her docked first and then pull out. We can't. We don't have foreskin. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> approach her docked. Excuse you can get, me, like, man. a Chinese finger trap. And then... <laughs> right, we, have, we must uh, undock ourselves. The sound it makes. What's the thing <laughs> of your penis? When two men undock, it's like <laughs> it's like a it's very mechanical. I want to see two transformers docking, and it's very like <laughs> like that. Now that's a, now that would be a good Newgrounds animation from Meat 2009. Canyon. Meat Canyon. Meat Get Canyon. Go ahead, buddy. We got you a baby sticker in the mail today. Thank you. He sent you the baby sticker. Oh, we're part of his Patreon, and mm. uh, every month he sends out a new sticker in the mail. And uh, so we have a door in our office, in our in our workroom. Uh, we have a door that's like glass panels, and every month when we get our Meat King sticker, we put a different sticker on. And we just finished one column, and today was the first one of a new column. And it was the baby where he's going, let's go. That's a great bonus. So that means a uh, regular show will probably be the next sticker, maybe? That, yeah. Did Have you seen the Garfield most one? recent one? I haven't watched the regular. I watched a, a little clip from it. <laughs> he posted like the whole thing on Instagram. Yeah, man. Hunter's a great guy. You guys should uh, get Hunter on off canny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, for me, me your information. For me your information. He's a really, really cool guy. I watched your guys' podcast with him. Mm -hmm. It's pretty funny. Thanks, man. He's a funny dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys are funny guys. You Thank almost you. have a million subscribers, right? Well, I think I think the reason that we almost. haven't hit a million is only only funny people are allowed to have a million subscribers. You're gonna. And that's get why we. Me. That's that's what I that's what I think only every unfunny year. People. Every year I'm like, just, every year it feels like we're just almost there. I'm actually like, it's like uh, year five and we haven't had a million subs. But you know what? I it was almost this weird part of me that kind of like I've liked the kind of smaller community feeling. Of our of of nine hundred thousand as opposed to a million. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Right, but like I, like if we had like ten million subs, it, I don't think it'd be the same. Like I really like our community. Oh, we're not talking ten. I just one M. You know, yeah. you guys are the blueprint for real of like duos. Like when I think like a pot, like a good duo, exactly what I would want to like have in a duo. You guys are the blueprint for sure, dude. Thank you. That's very sweet. That's mm -hmm. super sweet. Is man. it? Is it the you know the the kind of tall skinny. Like, is it also like the physical kind of like what you picture out? As it's just the things? mesh. You guys mesh so well. It's like when That's I when funny. I started working off on, on off candy, I was like, Super Mega is the blueprint for like how to do this well. Oh wow, thank you, mm -hmm. thank you, dude. You're making my heart blush right now. More live action, please. Thank you. Okay. No, we definitely need to. Just more gaming. We have, <laughs> <laughs> we we get in the biggest slumps and we feel the worst mentally, like when we're not doing live action mm -hmm. shit. And then whenever we do it, we get so excited again. It just kind of like. There's there's this stupid ebb and flow for some reason of like us releasing it. Your guys' live action shit is like so funny. Thanks, Thank man. You. We got we got a we got a lot more uh planned right now. Not mm -hmm. not shot. We do actually I I showed you uh, a clip from one that we're gonna make when Ryan comes back. What? The music video? No, the the clip we shot last year that's going in the video this year. Shh. The, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. he's a great actor, right? Wasn't that incredible? Yeah, you, I don't know how you guys do that. Do what? Like even just early in the podcast, you were like pretending to be someone's like skydiving coach. Oh yeah, like I buy into that. <clears throat> I can't act. I just start smiling. I I, I feel like there's the You're you, great, you there's that barrier you have to break of like mm -hmm. un, like being uncomfortable. What you gotta do? That's the, why like like it's easier to do it with like 
people like I I wouldn't probably be doing that and like mm -hmm. when I came over the other night I, I was probably like I don't know I was well, you, do voices. you were on crack I was like <laughs> I was high I was I was super high too you well, we got that the Papa John's the Papa John's <laughs> pizza shit dude that shit was delicious but I'm definitely more like um comfortable in like a small group setting mm -hmm. or like if it's small just group? Matt and I like so church? like I'm, I'm I feel like I can I can do that more mm -hmm. but like if I'm put in like a bigger group <laughs> I I I think I just feel like I'm put on the spot I guess you should try to get that like Marvel check. You see how they like just make people ripped, dude. I I'd like I I would love to like get an agent and maybe they throw me in a Marvel movie. But I think I missed. Dude, out. if you got an agent, you could legitimately start being in like TV shows and movies. I think because no you were that good of an actor, you already have a following and you're very charismatic and handsome. You could easily be Kumail Nani Johnny in in uh, Eternals. I could take his place. Yeah, you could. No, dude, you could legitimately like I'm. I I don't want you to get an agent because I already know what's gonna happen. You're going to start being happen, things dude. and you're going to be too big and leave there me are, behind. There are far more talented and beautiful mm -hmm. You're men destined to be an actor, I, Ryan. Who have worked harder, who are going to go their whole life tr chasing like acting and not going to make it. And you're telling me like, yeah, like that's just because the world is unfair. You know, there's very few people that make it. You're a great match. actor, though. And you're handsome. And here's the thing, Ryan. It's very sweet. You carry the weight in Super <clears throat> Mega and in the. I do carry most of the weight. <laughs> And the handsomeness and, and the acting. Funny. You know, I was I was I was jiggling my tummy when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> the looks and the acting chops. That's what he carries the weight in with Sumega. I carry the weight in shitting myself in the shower. And uh But it provides like the the most entertaining stories. You're you're a very vivid storyteller. Thank you, man. And a very I learned from the best. Very beautiful human being. This is adorable. I love this. Well, you, you, you started this, man. You started getting us on this sappy shit. I'm sorry, Jacob. Dude. I mean, I'm we, off the henny. We, we admire you as well, man. You you were very a very cool content creator and uh, off canny. I want to apologize for never getting back on when you had that thing <laughs> like prepared for me on the Epic SMP server. It's fine, man. I just it just so happened. I just had, I just so happened like. I just had a spiral, dude. The, like right after that, I didn't stream mm -hmm. at all afterwards. I haven't streamed yeah. since. Yeah, Trevor shouldn't have started a server if he couldn't carry it through. <laughs> so, uh, what was it, by the way? I, I uh, spent since two, it's since it's deleted now. I spent two weeks. So I, 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 I got all your stuff in chat. I took all the stuff out of your house. <laughs> I built like a new like area to hide it in, <laughs> and I made like a treasure hunt all the way. <laughs> To a cabin in the middle of the woods that I built really nicely. <laughs> oh my god! And you go in the basement that's under a hidden rug, <laughs> and you walk to the end of the hallway. And when you open the chest, it closes the doors behind you, and it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> that's badass. That would have been the perfect like end. Ryan, you did some. I I I just saw Fuck, people talking that, about that's it. That's so fucking good. It's, I spent. Two I loved weeks your Joker like, arc. Of yeah. just staring at me across the way. And I, I prepped with the whole the video. Skin. I prepped the whole video where it's like a link. You click it and it opens. It's like hello, Ryan. <laughs> no. That's awesome. No, oh, it's not that deleted. So good. It's not I'm deleted. So yeah, you can go sorry. back on the map. I still I still have the server. It's not the same though. Yeah, I, I wish I I, I wish I had gone back on, mm. but I just like wasn't in the mood to stream. I would have. I, I mean, I would have gotten on uh, if Trevor hadn't just done such a horrible job managing it and <laughs> ditched it after. Yeah, he just going gave everyone once. admin powers. Yeah, it's fucking awful. And the it way was he fun kept, though. The way I he could, kept, I you, saved my ass so many times mm -hmm. by teleporting. I did too, and then people got mad at me. Like, Stop! And I'm like, <laughs> man, bitch, I'm gonna play Minecraft. How I want to play Minecraft, pussy. So when's the next Sorry. one? When's Epic SMP two? Uh, uh, well, Ryan and I were thinking about uh, starting a new Minecraft server and an SMP. Ooh, Dream SMP. Two, we're gonna play with Dream and Corpse. Uh, all right, you don't like Corpse? I I feel like is this like why is his voice like that? It's because it's a medical thing. Yeah, like Wait. he has like some gastro something. I heard his like uh, is that MGK, really? I heard his MGK yeah. song and he like he got loud on it and I was like, ooh, that's better. He like he f what he does he does well. Mm -hmm. Like he he's perfect at it. Like in terms good of that like the music that he's creating. Like, I'm not going to say, like, oh, dude, he's awful. Because, like, he's good at what he's doing. Choke me. I think, at least. Me. Yeah. I, I don't enjoy the music that, that what, I don't know what the genre is. I ran into Savage you, Gasp the other day. Uh, what out. is that genre of music? Um, TikTok. Is it really just called TikTok? <laughs> no, I don't it's know. Like, uh, That's like rap. SoundCloud What he rap, makes yeah. is, like, yeah, it's like SoundCloud rap. Mine's um, very 2016 sort of, like, X the kind of stuff. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a dream about X last night. I don't remember what it Did was. Did you kiss though. 
No. No. Okay. You ever had a celebrity death that was like, damn. Steve Irwin was the big one for me. Really? That tore me up as a kid. Epstein. Actually, Michael Jackson for from Steve Irwin tore you up. Well, I've said this before. The one that really Robin got Robin Williams is another one that was mm. like hard, but like nothing hurt me like in terms of celebrity death. Like and Steve Irwin. I used to watch and Steve Irwin all the time with my dad mm. and just like S- Croc Diaries. And like I remember going to the movie theater because they they actually made like a Crocodile Hunter scripted movie. Really bad. But <laughs> it was Steve Irwin. Uh, MF Doom. Got me. Yeah, that was like that was so just so and, sudden, and also yeah. it's like yeah, he's also been dead for two months. <laughs> that one, that one really made me really upset because mm-hmm. I I love him after him. You, I think it was probably X, because like not because he was a good person or anything, yeah. but like I had found his music on SoundCloud when he wasn't like popular. Oh, so like when he was like for all that Jocelyn Flores, like literally his first song I heard it, I was like oh, I'll follow this guy, and I listened through his whole career and like followed him the whole way through, and then him just being like. It just felt weird to just go out. Yeah, just like, he's so young too. Like, he's my age as well. So it's like, oh my God, he's my age. And he just got shot and killed. I was like, in Japan when he died. And I uh, <laughs> I found out because I saw on the news a picture of him. And it said XXX Tentasi and San, blah, 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 with a bunch of Japanese. Mm-hmm. And I just recognized the character for death. And I was like, <gasps> it's, so, it's just weird when you like follow Especially, yeah, way. I can imagine. It's weird when someone you follow dies. Like, uh, there's this YouTuber that I used to watch years ago. Uh, for ASMR stuff. I forgot about her for like two years and I looked her up the other night and I was like, oh, she hasn't posted in a while. I saw the comments were all like, rest in peace. And I was like, oh my gosh, she died. She That's overdosed. so personal too because she's like, she's whispering to you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, it's, it's it's always just weird when when like a creator that you follow dies, especially mm-hmm. if you feel like you know them because you watch them so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think like what would really, the Tom Hanks would really get me. I'd be very sad if Tom Hanks died. Um, and Chet. By extension. <laughs> uh, probably more sad if Chet died. What celebrity would wreck you the most before we end the podcast? Right now, probably like, it's going to sound dumb, but probably like Bo Burnham because I watched him a lot. Uh, like I watched him on yeah. YouTube and then he got a special on Comedy Central. It was much like that where like mm-hmm. I like found him on YouTube like doing his shtick and then I really loved the... Uh, the specials that he did on Netflix. I thought they're like fun and creative. And I just kind of like always liked just his sense of humor and shit like that. And his shows, I just think they're super fun and he's like going to come back. And I don't know, just uh, he's a, he's a smaller creator too. And I can't think of anyone else. Cause like for some reason it gets to this point and it sounds shitty, but like when a, when a celebrity is so famous, I'm not like, it's not like I expect them to die, but it's like their their death comes off as more of like this big event mm-hmm. than like something oh, a little more personal. Like when that. Donald Trump dies, it's going to be such a big like thing for a big time. Yeah, the death of a of the greatest president. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. It's greatest revolutionary in American history. First president to troll. Yeah. We First black do, president too. <laughs> <laughs> what would be yours? Um, Probably you guys. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, if we died right now, I'm sure that would wreck. Hey, that would wreck you. That would fuck you up. I got news for you. Two Jacob. people drop dead in the middle of conversation. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god!